right, thank you singers, thank you dancers. Big round of applause for our singers and our gourd dancers, ladies and gentlemen. That was our opening set. For the R, just about 40 minutes, that's all. That opening set, just about 40 minutes. Ladies and gentlemen, they could have gone around the horn one more time and not missed a beat. Thank you, singers. Again, our head singer, Mr. Arlen Goodfox, and crew out there making us feel good on this beautiful, beautiful Saturday morning. Friends and family, how about giving it up, make some noise for our head singer, Mr. Arlen Goodfox. And again, we also want to acknowledge and say thank you to our host, Gord Society. Wonderful organization to work with. I've had the pleasure and the opportunity to, to work alongside them a few times now. And just um, just makes my heart feel good whenever I see these gentlemen and their auxiliary. They always look um, so nice. And they come into this arena and they, they come into this arena in a good way with an open heart. And they acknowledge and respect this gourd dance and these, and these gourd songs. And they were given this right by their, by their archival people. Brother Rusty, just want to acknowledge you out there at the drum. I hope, Bobby. Love you, brother. Love you, Bobby. I hope. Thank you to the Kiowa people for giving us this beautiful song, this dance, this gourd dance. But they, they have a great respect and admiration for the gourd dance friends and family, and they have a great admiration and respect for the Kiowa people, for the Kiowa Gourd Society, who gave them this right to be here today to present this gourd dance, to host this gourd dance for you. So big round of applause for our host, Gourd Society. Gentlemen and auxiliary, stand up, please. Yellow Hill, Yellow Hill, let us give you a round of applause. Stand up, gentlemen, stand up, auxiliary, let us give you a round of applause. They always look so nice. And again, we want to say... Aho and thank you to our head gourd dancer. He and his family are here this weekend. Always good to be in their presence. Big round of applause for our head gourd dancer, Mr. Warren Wheaton, over here to the north side of the arena. Mr. Warren Wheaton, our head gourd dancer. So again, friends and family, we will gourd dance up until about noon o'clock, 12 o'clock. At that time, we'll flip the program over. Powwow will begin. Singers, singers, Mr. Michael Roberts informed me that Southern Drum Groups, Southern Drum Groups, you have a piece of yellow tape on your chair. You have a piece of tape on your chair. So Southern Drum Groups, you do have a piece of tape on your chair out there around the arena. So Southern Singers, Southern Drum Groups, you do have a piece of tape on your drum circle chair. These singers will be competing for some outstanding prize money this weekend, drum contest. Dancers will be competing for some outstanding prize money, dance contest. So don't go too far, friends and family. You are in for a special treat. Plenty of parking, free parking, free admission into the Choctaw Nation Event Center. So come one, come all. Be sure and get on your social media, your Facebook, your Instagram, your smoke signals, whatever you have, your ex formerly known as Twitter, let people know to come on down to beautiful Durant, Oklahoma, home of the Choctaw Nation Casino and Resort. What a beautiful time we are having on this beautiful Saturday, the first Saturday, November 4th, 2023. Give our singers a little bit of a break here. Thank you, Willard, for taking care of our singers. Thank you for taking care of this arena. A lot of honoring going on this morning, friends and family, in this circle. I'd mentioned earlier that uh, our, our head gourd dancer is a proud veteran, and we, we honor and, and recognize his service and the service of so many others here today with us, so many servicemen and service women. We know next Saturday, November 11th, is Veterans Day, and every day, every day among our Indian people is Veterans Day. 
So friends and family, right now, right now, if you can hear the sound of my voice, if you are a veteran, if you have served our military, would you please stand and let us give you a big round of applause. So all of our veterans, all of our service men and women, wherever you are, would you please stand? There's some in the arena, there's some in the audience, there's some here on the floor, there's some here in this arena. Big round of applause for all of our veterans, all of our service men and service women. Thank you, veterans. Thank you, veterans. What a beautiful day. We are into the month of November. Hope everybody had a happy Halloween. Got plenty of candy, all the good stuff, all the chocolates, all the sweets. Here in just a few short weeks, Thanksgiving, we'll gather around a dining room table, around the kitchen, living rooms, wherever you may gather with your friends and family. We want to wish you a very happy Thanksgiving. Don't forget, don't forget, we fall back tonight, sis. We fall back. Get that extra hour of sleep. So at 2 a.m. on Sunday morning, it is 1 a.m., Adadis, 1 a.m., that extra hour, haul. <laughs> I'll be asleep. I'll be fast asleep. Doesn't matter to me. Maybe back in the day, I'd go, ha, oh, we have that extra hour, Dottie. But anymore, old grandpa here, he's, he's fast asleep by about 9.30 p.m. But again, we will fall back. Days will get a little shorter. Morning sun will come up a little earlier. Yeah, thank you. So don't forget to turn those clock backs. 2 a.m., it will be 1 a.m. If you have any announcements, bring them on up. Just come on up to the MC stand. Just give me a tap on the shoulder or just put the flyer in front of me. I'm happy to make that announcement about your upcoming powwow, gathering, hog fry, church singing, stomp dance, anything. Join us for a Christmas powwow, Christmas powwow on Friday, the 22nd of December of this year from 6 p.m. to 11 p.m. Watch a Taker Hall, MC Ernie Redbird, head singer Bubba Sovo, head man Kendrick Stabler, AD Ashley Kirchie, security provided by Jim Wade, co-host Comanche Nation Prevention and Recovery, a light supper will be served. Their special guest on that day, Santa Claus. Vendor setup fee is a raffle item. If you're interested, contact Nicole Parker. Nicole, I'm going to give your phone number out. That's 405-778-1913. I will repeat that. If you're interested to be a vendor at the Christmas powwow at Watchataker Hall on December 22nd, Contact Nicole Parker at 405-778-1913. Also, Comanche Nation Junior Princess Vivian Michelle Parker, Honor Powwow, March 16th, 2024. Also at Watchataker Hall, Comanche Complex, Lawton, Oklahoma. Schedule will be 12 p.m. Blessing and Cedaring, 1 p.m. Gourd Dance, 5.30 Supper Break, 7 p.m., grand entry and contest dancing. Head staff, their color guard is the Riverside Indian School. Head singer, Devin Worming. MC, Coy McLemore. Head man, Cecil Jinxy Gray. Head lady, Catherine Howe. Head boy, Rainin Yellowfish. Head girl, Chrissy Lone Lodge. AD, Ashley Kirchie. Co host, Comanche Little Ponies, Numina Little Ponies. They will have contests in Tiny Tots, junior girls, junior boys, teen girls, teen boys, women and men, special contests, scrub dance. Get in contact with Nicole Parker again for vendor information. Again, her number 405-778-1913. Again, that number for Nicole is 405-778-1913. Put that one on your powwow calendar. Honor Pow Wow, Honor Dance on March 16th of 2024 for the Comanche Nation Junior Princess Vivian Michelle Parker. That'll be a good one.
Beautiful weather out there. Thank you to all of our vendors that have set up. We have some outstanding food items. If you're hungry, if you're thirsty, take it outside. Visit one of our food vendors. I believe the concession stand is open here inside. We have our men and men's and women's restroom inside. Let's be mindful of our trash, our litter. Let's make sure we take care and keep this facility clean so that they will have us back time and time again. This Comanche, this, this Choctaw powwow has become an annual gathering each and every year. So many of our dancers and singers look forward to coming to Durant, Oklahoma, each and every year, this time of year. So again, we want to say thank you to Willard and your family. Thank you to the committee for bringing us all together here in beautiful Durant, Oklahoma, to celebrate our heritage, celebrate with our singing and dancing. November is National Native American Heritage Month. Many of our schools will be having Native American Heritage Month activities. Many of our universities and colleges will be having powwows throughout this month of November. So be sure and, and, and support your children, your grandchildren, your schools, your Indian education programs. Always a good time to come and share your knowledge, your history, share your beautiful songs, share your dance, share your stories. We have some outstanding storytellers. I know here this, this time of month around November, we, or October, we had some, some individuals around Tulsa that they specialized in telling those scary stories, those spooky stories. Had a big, big gathering of individuals that would come and listen to these storytellers that would tell those scary, spooky stories. So our Indian people are very knowledgeable, very good at sharing this wealth of knowledge that they have. Again, we want to say thank you to all of these singers out there Here, a little bit later on in our program, before we end Gore Dance, Brother R, you just let me know. We want to set this blanket out there for, for you and your singers. So you just give me the high sign whenever that is ready, whenever you want to go there. We'll make sure we put that blanket out. So again, if you're just now arriving, we're in the heart of our Gore Dance. We have just about an hour, two songs. Okay. So if we could have Willard, if we could get a blanket out there. I believe our singers, our, our drum. Thank you, Brother Nick. So just a clarification, these next two songs, these next two songs, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to honor our head gore dancer, Mr. Warren Wheatone. And the first song, his relative, Imhula, is going to honor him with that first song. And the second song, Yellow Hill, our host gore society, will honor our head gore dancer. So this first song, ladies and gentlemen, this first Gore Dance song, his relative, Mr. M. Hula, is going to honor his relative, our head Gore Dancer, Mr. Warren Wheaton, with that first song. And the second song, our host Gore Society, Yellow Hill, is going to honor our head Gore Dancer with that second song. So two songs, two songs, singers, in honor of our head Gore Dancer, Mr. Warren Wheaton. Military, veteran, served our country. Tribal administrator. A son. A husband.
a member of the Kiowa Gourd Society. Proud alumni of the University of Oklahoma. Our head gourd dancer being honored with these next two songs. Our head gourd dancer, ladies and gentlemen, if you're able to rise, would you please rise out of respect for our head gourd dancer, Mr. Warren Wheaton. This second song, friends and family, ladies and gentlemen, Yellow Hill, our host Gord Society, is honoring their head, our head Gord Dancer. So during the singing of this second song, our host Gord Society, Yellow Hill, is honoring our head Gord Dancer, Mr. Warren Wheaton. Thank you, Yellow Hill. So once again, friends and family, relatives, you want to come out and honor our head gourd dancer, feel free to come on out. We appreciate our head gourd dancer so very much. We appreciate 
his family, his mom and dad, his relatives. Our head court dancer, a proud member of the Cherokee Nation and the Kiowa Tribe. A proud veteran. He served our country. Served our country with pride, with dignity and respect. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause for our head court dancer, Mr. Warren Wittone. You may be seated if you stood during the singing of those two songs. Thank you for that respect. Big round of applause for our singers and our dancers, and especially our head gourd dancer, Mr. Warren Wheatone. Thank you so much, friends and family. Again, those two songs, that first song that was rendered, his relative, Mr. Imhula, wanted to honor Warren. And then that second song, our host Gourd Society, Yellow Hill, wanted to honor their head Gourd dancer. And Yellow Hill, is there, would, would y'all like the microphone at this time? Any words, anything you'd like to acknowledge? Anything you'd like to say? I uh, thank you to the Yellow Hill Gourd Society for the honor and my, my uncle. We are, uh, I'm, I'm glad to be here. I want to thank my brothers at the drum. You know, it's been some really good singing. It, it's uh, like being back home amongst our people. It kind of something, uh, you know, I've been brought up 
in our Kiowa ways. And I want to say that there's a lot to this dance. And I grew up in a polyope as a rabbit, as a young person. And I was given my Kiowa name. And I try to take care of our dances and our songs and our language. So we say, Deon de Aho, thank you for the honor here. And I'm thankful to be here. And I'm really thankful that my parents and my sisters are with us today because I grew up in Dallas many, many years. And I moved to Norman to go to school. And I moved to Tulsa now. So I don't get to see my folks here. So I want to thank the organization, the powwow committee, for asking me to be here. It gave me an opportunity to see my uncle and my cousins, and my little niece. And it's just a wonderful feeling today. And I'm, <clears throat> I want to say something about these singers out here. They're all excellent singers. And you don't hear singing like this a whole lot. And I know my brothers, they know. They know the ways. And they know that these songs, there's a spirit that comes out of these songs. And it's not a veteran's dance, it's a man's dance. All these songs, they just don't sing a song just to be making uh, vocables or they got a meaning to them. That first song belonged to my adopted father. His name was, uh, it was his family song, Burley Coy Tone. I want to acknowledge who that song comes from. So maybe these, uh, these Gord Society down here will remember that. He was a veteran. So like he he was a soldier. Uh, World War II came home and they they uh, they made that song for him. He thought ye. He thought ye. He went overseas, and then a goy tali Kiowa boy come come back, and uh, there's a good good tune to that. There's words to that, and then um, that second song was goy pa go. Lone Wolf family. We're also related to them through uh, the caucus from uh, out in Hobart. So I just, I'm thankful my folks could be here and we could all be together. And I, I just want to say God bless y'all. Thank you to the Choctaw people for the hospitality. Thank you for the, the Gord Society for what they're going to do for us today. And uh, I just want to welcome everybody. This is... Uh, I know people are kind of getting here and maybe they don't understand what's going on, but this is an old, old dance that come, goes way back amongst our Kiowa people. And I was talking about it with my dad, my uncles from the Gord clan. They came and they came last year and they said, uh, our chairman, Billy Evans Horse, he brought this dance to these Choctaw people and they visited with the Gord clan and the Gore clan and everybody said, we're, we're, uh, we're not going to stop y'all from dancing, but we want y'all to do it in the right way. We want y'all to dress appropriately. We want y'all to conduct yourselves appropriately with our songs. And so I'm thankful to the Choctaw organization in Yellow Hill for doing that, being reverent and being respectful of our ways here. And I just want to say that much. And thank you for, remember, very much for the honor. And again, aho de on day. Friends and family, how about one more round of applause for our head gourd dancer, Mr. Warren Wheatone. Thank you, Bobby. Good words, good expression. Let our singers have just a little break here. Catch their breath, get a drink of water. Again, no smoking inside of the event center. 
need to smoke, take it outside, please. And again, let's be mindful of our little trash that we accumulate. Make sure it goes in the proper receptacle. There's plenty of trash bins throughout the event center. We do have an ATM card that was turned in, an ATM card that was turned in, secure checking. If you're missing an ATM card, Mr. Craig Johnson Jr., it was turned in, secure checking. I believe one of the security members found it in the ATM machine. So if you are Craig Johnson, come on up. Your ATM card has been turned into the MC stand. Also, powwow number 6501, powwow number 6501. I believe that belongs to Thomas Good Eagle. Your powwow number has been turned in. Powwow number 6501. I believe Thomas Good Eagle. Come on up to the MC stand. Hey, check out powwows.com. Go to www.powwows.com over here to my left. A big round of applause for powwows.com for setting up going World Wide Web, www.powwows.com. Big round of applause for powwows.com for live streaming today's activities. Also, big round of applause for Lone TP, L-O-N-E, L-O-N-E-T-I-P-I, Lone TP for live streaming today's activities. So be sure and go to www.lonetp.com. Big round of applause for Lone TP up here to my right. Thank you, Lone TP. Thank you, powwows.com for being here with us today in beautiful Durant, Oklahoma. Any powwow announcements, be sure and bring them up. Let me know what you have going on. I believe November 18th, if you're in the area, Austin, Texas, Austin Pow Wow, it's their 30th annual celebration, November 18th. Put that one on your Pow Wow calendar. I don't have any information on head staff, but November 18th, two Saturdays from now, Austin will be the place to be. 30th annual celebration. We've been there. It's a good one. One day powwow. Lots of vendors, lots of arts and crafts. Some good singing, some good dancing. Put that one on your calendar. Don't forget next Saturday, November the 11th, November the 11th, Veterans Day. Every day is Veterans Day amongst our Indian people. Our head gourd dancer, a proud veteran. He's also obtained the status of major in the military. I know his mom and dad are so very proud of their son and I know as parents you want to spend and see your children as much as possible. And I know them living in Dallas, they don't have an opportunity to see their son as much. But I know that, that Warren, Bobby, I'm, I'm so, so grateful your, your mom and dad are here with you this weekend. That's so good. Good to see your dad, good to see your mom. And I know your parents are, are proud of you, Warren. They're proud of you like all of us are. So thank you to his mom and dad. I know, I know we, we as parents, we miss our children, and it's good to, to see our children as they grow and mature, as they start their own family, as they have their, their own families. They may have children, grandchildren. So I know that uh, his mom and dad are real proud of Warren like, like all of us are, and he's done an outstanding job this weekend serving as our head gourd dancer. So again, we're going to flip the program at high noon. High noon, we're going to flip the program going to turn this microphone over to two outstanding MCs and they'll take you through the rest of the day and Yellow Hill I believe Yellow Hill we're closing out our gourd dance today right we're closing it out today no gourd dance later on this afternoon no gourd dancing tomorrow is that right Willard closing out the gourd dance at high noon so our singers will know what to do <clears throat> at that appropriate time been a wonderful time here sharing this gourd dance these songs with you. Good expression by our head gourd dancer about how this, these songs, what they mean. This, this dance, this gourd dance that we're able to see and enjoy. Again, we want to say thank you to our Kiowa people, our Kiowa relatives. Appreciate seeing my brother, brother Rusty out there. Bobby, Rusty Aho, Bobby, good to see you and, and your family. Appreciate and love the, the Kozad family so very much. So I hope, Bobby, we love you, Brother Rusty. Love you. And I believe this next 
Brother R, I believe this next set, this next set that we go into, we want to have a blanket dance, family and friends. We want to have a blanket dance and all get word from our head singer on exactly how many songs, if he wants to do two songs or four songs. But this next set, Brother R, we're going to have blanket dance. So however many you want, you want two or four. And that will be an opportunity, family and friends, for you, for you to come out and place a monetary gift on that blanket. And that money will go to our singers, help them out a little bit, maybe with a little gas money, a little travel money, a little food money. You know, our singers don't come here to, for fame or fortune. They come here to support our head singer. They come here to support our dancers. They come here to fellowship. They come here to have fun. But they come here to bless us. So once again, family and friends, Indian, non-Indian, when that blanket is placed out in this arena, that'll be an opportunity for you to come out and place a monetary gift it might be a dollar bill, maybe a five dollar bill, maybe a twenty, maybe a hundred dollars, whatever's on your heart. You'll have an opportunity to come and, and place that monetary gift. Maybe you just have some change. Anything we are grateful for. And we'll be able to give that oh hong ya, that Mansuski to those singers to help them out. Last night I believe we had a blanket dance wheeler. I think we had over $160 that was gathered last night. So today, maybe we, can, maybe we can match that or go over that amount. Right now. Arlen, are you uh, this next set? Brother R, blanket dance. Two songs or four songs? Four songs, one set. We'll do one set, four songs. Our AD is going to get a blanket here, so we're going to go off the air just for a moment here. Ladies and gentlemen, four songs, four songs. This blanket is out on the arena floor. The arena is now open to one and all. I just had an opportunity to go out there and share some words with my brothers out there at the drum. Let them know how I feel about them, how much I love them. For singing these beautiful songs, for blessing all of us today on this beautiful Saturday. November 4th, 2023, here in Durant, Oklahoma at the Choctaw Nation Event Center. 
So if you can hear the sound of my voice, if you can hear the sound of my voice, now is the time to come out and place a little monetary gift on that blanket. And that money will go back to our singers. You will receive a blessing. You will be blessed by that grandpa drum, by these beautiful songs. So these next four songs, these next four songs, blanket dance, Indian, non-Indian, does not matter. Feel free to come out and place a monetary gift on that blanket to help our singers out. Come one, come all, family and friends. Come one, come all, Indian, non-Indian, does not matter, does not matter. Come on out. Receive that blessing, blanket dance, blanket dance. Thank you, young man. Thank you, young lady. Thank you so much. Once again, if you can hear the sound of my voice, family and friends, relatives, we're having blanket dance for our center drum, for our singers. Just a little opportunity, an opportunity for us to give back to these gentlemen and these women out there at the center drum. Thank you, young lady. Thank you. Aho. A chance for all of us to give a little bit, give from the heart. That blanket dance, this blanket dance, that money will go back to our singers, to our center drum. Anybody is welcome to come and place a monetary gift on that blanket. You do not have to be in regalia. You do not have to be dressed. Indian, non-Indian, does not matter. Come on out. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you. Aho, aho. Thank you, young man. Thank you, young lady. Thank you, thank you. Thank you. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you, sir. Thank you. Thank you. The event center is starting to fill up. We're still door dancing on a Saturday morning. On a Saturday morning, we are gore dancing. Thank you, gore dancers. Aho, aho, aho. Thank you, kind sir. Thank you. Thank you, young man. Thank you. Thank you, thank you, thank you. 
Thank you, kind sir. Thank you, ma'am. Thank you so much. Come on out, family and friends. Come on out. Thank you. Oh, thank you, sir. Thank you. Oh, yes, I hope. Thank you, ladies. Thank you so much, ladies. Two more songs. Two more songs. Blanket dance. That blanket is out here on the arena floor. Again, we want to say thank you to Yellow Hill, our host, Gord Society. Mado, aho, Mado, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, ma'am. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Blanket dance for our singers. Blanket dance for our singers. Thank you, thank you. The blanket dance is still on, family. Thank you, young lady. Thank you. Blanket dance. My Adati being honored here on the north side of the arena. My Adati Jason Lightfoot being honored here on the north side of the arena. Thank you, singers, family and friends, relatives. We have one more song here, one more song. Thank you to each and every one of you who've come out and placed a monetary gift on that blanket. One more song, blanket dance song. Here in less than 30 minutes, we'll flip the program. We'll go into our grand entry, into our powwow. But right now, we are still gourd dancing. So once again, you have the opportunity to come out and help our singers out. Whatever's on your heart, maybe a dollar bill or five dollar bill or 20, whatever you have, some loose change. 
That monetary gift will go to our singers. So good to see my Adati, my brother Jason Lightfoot, my nephew, being honored on that last song. We want to say thank you to our singers. Thank you to that drum. Thank you, ladies. Thank you, auxiliary. Thank you, Yellow Hill. Good to hear those gourds. Thank you, kind lady. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Receive that blessing. Receive that blessing today on this beautiful Saturday morning. Our brother Mike here being honored on the south side of the arena floor, family and friends. Ladies and gentlemen, a big round of applause to our singers, to our dancers. Thank you for that round of applause. Thank you to each and every one of you who came out and joined and participated in that blanket dance. That blanket dance. Our thank you to our ADs. Thank you to our host, Gord Society. They wanted to do that on behalf of our singers. Thank you, Willard. Again, he'll count that money up and all of that money, all that ahong ya will go to our singers. Help them out a little bit. I know they spend a lot of energy, a lot of effort out there at that center drum singing these beautiful songs. Hey, November is Native American Heritage Month. November 18th, you follow Oklahoma just up the road. You follow Oklahoma holiday market and pottery, paintings, jewelry, beadwork, and more. Food, sale, fashion, so... Contact John Tiger. I'll give the phone number here, 918-850-3806. I will repeat that. John Tiger, 918-850-3806. It will be held at the Eufaula Indian Community Center, November 18th. Eufaula, Oklahoma, Holiday Market. All right, Mark. Uh, thank you very much. Good afternoon, ladies and gentlemen. Really quick, we've got a couple of announcements here. Uh, for all of our singers, all of our drummers that are coming in, registration is open up here behind the speaker stand, up on the speaker stand. And to all you singers, all you drums that are set up already, don't get too comfortable because, again, if you see a yellow tape on one of the chairs, that is uh, 
for our Southern Drums. I think Mike has already come around and kind of gave everybody a heads up. But we're going to go uh, Southern, Northern, Southern, Northern all the way around this year. I know in years past we've always had Southern Drums on the south side and Northern Drums on the north side. Okay. Michael, our singers are needing you out there at the center drum. But also again, 11.45 drum roll call, 11.45 drum roll call. So again, be getting set up, be getting situated. So again, just a couple of announcements really quick. Also, uh, Michael has made a mention that uh, we're asking no more outside chairs as we are getting really full this evening, this afternoon, we're almost reaching capacity. So no outside chairs. Again, do the best that we can. Be hospitable to one another. I know a lot of... Uh, and a lot of our powwow dancers, whenever we travel to different uh, celebrations, you know, we put out a, a blanket to mark our spots. And a lot of times, you know, we have, we take up one chair and our bags and our roaches and our bustles and our shawls and everything else takes up the other chairs. So again, we'll do the best that we can. Trying to get everybody in here again. We want to have a good time. It is a free event. And so again, we want to welcome each and every one of you down here to the beautiful Duran, Oklahoma, the Choctaw Nation. Very, very hospitable, opening up its doors, bring a lot of champion dancers, champion singers down here this weekend. So again, if you're a, a southern drum and a northern drum, we're going to go back and forth over here. You know, like I said, typically, you know, normally we would have all southern drums on the south side and all northern drums on the north side. So again, we're going to just go back and forth, northern, southern, northern, southern, all the way around. All right, Mark. Thank you, Brother Marty. Hey, we're going to flip this program at high noon. We're going to turn it over to our two outstanding MCs at high noon and grand entry. So first call dancers, first call dancers, first call drum groups, first call drum groups. Get your best tunes out there. Get it on your mind, boys and girls. First call dancers, first call dancers. High noon, we will flip the program for grand entry, grand entry. Also, uh, according to our arena staff, we're asking all of our veterans to start making your way over to our Grand Entry area. Our Grand Entry area will be over here on the northwest corner. So I know we have a lot of individuals that are standing around in that corner. That's where our Grand Entry procession will be coming through. Also at this time, we want to uh, do a quick honoring here for Mr. Wilson Roberts, and we're calling all District 12 members. District 12 members, start making your way up here. You know, ladies and gentlemen, this gentleman that is uh, uh, sitting uh, Sit it here in front here, you know, him and his companion, you know, there are no strangers to this area, this community, and also, you know, to the state of Oklahoma, surrounding areas, and all over the country. You know, this gentleman is called upon, you know, many, many times for his storytelling, for his, uh, his language teachings, his guidance, you know, he's uh, called upon a lot of times, you know, to, to talk before the people, to say prayers for individuals. And we're talking about Mr. Wilson Roberts right here. And we're asking uh, Wilson and uh, his companion and all the District 12 uh, members, again, if you want to start making your way up here. Also, we're uh, calling upon the District 12 princess, Karen Maldonado. She is here also. But we want to honor some of our veterans. You know, earlier I heard Mark, you know, ask, you know, if we had veterans that are in the house. And so this uh, afternoon here, we're real quick, we want to honor Wilson. And so we're asking if we have any World War II veterans in the house. If we do, we're asking you to come up here. You may need some assistance. But do we have any World War II men or women? World War II veterans in the house. If we do, any nationality. You don't have to be native. Any World War II veterans. If we have any, we're asking you to come up here, men or women. Also, if we have any Korean War veterans, you know, Wilson is a veteran of the Korean War, and so we're asking any members uh, of the uh, armed forces that may have served in the Korean War. So World War II veterans, do we have any World War II veterans, men or women, native and non-native alike? And if we do, we may not have anybody here in the house, but we're sure hoping that we have somebody. We want to recognize, you know, some of these individuals, but also if we have a Korean War veteran, please make your way up here. Come up here and see Wilson. Also, if we have a Desert Storm Purple Heart veteran, come on up here and see Wilson. A 
Again, World War II veteran, Korean War veteran, Purple Heart Vietnam veteran, Desert Storm. Again, we don't want to take up too much time, so if we can have some assistance. Again, you don't have to be native. Just come on up if you're a veteran of the World War II, Korean War, Vietnam War, Desert Storm. Also to our princesses, we will be getting a sign-in sheet. If you want to come up here and check in, that way we can get you recognized. All right, thank you, Brother Marty. All right, I see. Uh, I know we have a Desert Storm veteran up here. But also, again, we're calling if we have a World War II veteran, Korean War veteran, Vietnam War veteran, Desert Storm. Again, Wilson wants to honor, you know, some of these veterans that are here to, uh, you know, say thank you. It's never too late to say thank you to our veterans. You know, our veterans, you know, we hold higher than anything else, you know, because, again, they are willing to lay their life on the line. All right, I believe we have all the representation that are here. We're getting some names, but Wilson wants to honor, you know, these veterans that he's called upon. If we have a Purple Heart recipient from the Vietnam War, we want to call you up. I believe we do have everybody. But Wilson is uh, gifting um, from his family. They're gifting these vet some of these veterans that came up here with a beautiful star quilt with their branch of service. And again, we want to say thank you to these individuals for making your way up here and honoring Wilson with your presence here. You know, it's never too late to thank our veterans again because we re respect them and hold them in so high that, uh, you know, they don't get that recognition. And we believe that every day, I affirm a believer that every day should be Veterans Day because again, you know, they lay their life on the line. They stepped up to the plate and signed that dotted line to represent one Purple Heart veteran one more Purple Heart veteran. And we're asking you gentlemen, if you came up and received, all right, we've got everybody here. So if you received a blanket when we come time for our grand entry, we would like for you to join us with our grand entry here. And as we get the names here, I'll read them off. And again, this is uh, an honor of Wilson Roberts on behalf of the District 12. You know, back around uh, 4th of July weekend, I was seeing a post on Facebook where uh, Wilson was uh, honored for uh, recognition of being Veteran of the Month and also the first language speaker of the month by District 12. And so, they you know, that's a, you know awesome accomplishment. All right, we've got all of our representation here. We want to say thank you to all these fine gentlemen that are standing here before you. We've got some names that they're writing down. We want to honor them and recognize them. Again, we are past 1145, and so we'll be having drum roll calls shortly as we get the names and get the order in line. And I know our drums are kind of jockeying for position. But also, again, all registration for our drum groups up here behind me, right up on the stage. Also, if we have some arena staff, uh, Rainmaker over here, I believe they need some chairs uh, somewhere around here. And some of our drums, I know some of our singers out here in the center also have some of the chairs that we bring in them back here shortly. But again, we need some uh, chairs for our singers that are around the area. So again, we've got all the representation for... All right, there's a drum spot over here, right over here where Michael is standing. Michael, give us a wave if you're uh, needing some chairs or if you're needing a, I believe it's a southern drum area. So we're looking for one more southern drum on that side. Is there a female veteran from the Vietnam War in the house? We would like to honor you. 
a female veteran of the Vietnam War. And we'll get these names and we'll ask these gentlemen right here that are standing before you to join us this afternoon with our grand entry. And we've got a sign-in sheet for all of our royalty, all our princesses and braves. Uh, if you need to sign in, we have a sign-in sheet up here upon the stage as well. Again, this is our second call for our color guard. Second call for our Choctaw Nation color guard. Be making your way over to the uh, northwest corner for grand entry. Start making your way. I still believe we do have to close out uh, coordinates this afternoon. And then uh, we'll be getting ready for Grand Entry. I know some of our singers, our dancers, so we'll make time for our dancers. Again, we'd like to recognize these gentlemen here. I'm not sure. Uh, we're going to recognize our veterans that receive these blankets here, right here. We're going to ask uh, Pius Horse Chief, Spotted Horse Chief, to come back up here if you would. But we're coming from the Army, Mark Roanhorse, one step forward, member of the Vietnam veteran. Joseph Kission, Army, one step forward. Wayne Halley, Army, one step forward. Lloyd Cleck, Army, one step forward. Phil Adams, Vietnam veteran, one step forward. Sonny Alexander, Vietnam Air Veteran. One step forward. Millard Stowers, Veteran of the Vietnam War. Dwayne Moore, Drill Sergeant, Vietnam US Army. Desert Storm, David Ott, Veteran. One step forward. And again, Pius Spotted Horse Chief, uh, Iraq War Veteran. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for our veterans here? Harold Maris, Harold Maris, one step forward. I do apologize. Again, it's never too late to say thank you to our veterans. On behalf of Wilson, the District 12, this is his way of saying thank you to our veterans that stepped up to the plate and signed that dotted line. He wants to say thank you on behalf of the Roberts family, the half of the Choctaw Nation. We want to say thank you to our veterans. Michael Sexton, Vietnam veteran. Again, a round of applause one last time here for our veterans as we are getting closer and closer to our grand entry time. All right, Mark, turn it back over to you. Uh, ho, thank you. Again, to our uh, veterans that are standing before you, you are dismissed this afternoon. But we also would like to ask you to join us with our grand entry processional this afternoon. Again, we want to say thank you, Wilson. Dismissed. All right. Thank you, veterans. Thank you, Brother Marty. All right, ladies and gentlemen, Gord Dancers, we have four songs. We have four songs. We will close out our gourd dance for this year's celebration. No more gourd dancing after these four songs. So these four songs are it. Until next time, until next year. Thank you, veterans. Another round of applause for all of our veterans. Thank you, Robert's family. Four songs. We're closing out our gourd dance. Stand by, grand entry. Stand by, grand entry. Thank you, Yellow Hill. Thank you to our head gourd dancer, Bobby. Aho. Thank you to the Wheatone family. Aho. 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 Mhula family. Aho. Uda. Uda. Four songs. We are closing out our gourd dance. Four songs.
Want to wish our niece happy birthday. Tylen, happy birthday. Happy birthday. Happy birthday, niece. Happy birthday. Our arena director, Mr. Willer Polk, is bringing his wife out here onto the arena floor. Sharon Polk. Honoring Sharon. And this is from Brother Willard. He asked to keep his wife respectfully in your thoughts and prayers. So our thoughts and prayers are with Miss Sharon Polk. All right, we're still gourd dancing, friends. But we are closing it out. After this set, we were closing it out. First call, grand entry. First call, grand entry.
honoring the Princess Vivian Parker over here on the south side of the arena. Oh, sing it loud, sing it proud, singers. Once again, we say thank you, Yellow Hill. We say thank you to our head gourd dancer, Mr. Warren Wheatone. Thank you, Wheatone family. Thank you to all of our gourd dancers. Thank you to our singers. Thank you to our veterans. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a big round of applause for our gourd dancers and our singers. One more time, a round of applause. All right, all right. One more song here, family and friends, one more song. It's beautiful princess here on the south side of the arena being honored at this time. One more song here, family and friends. We have an honoring here on the south side. We want to wish a happy birthday, a 12th, 12th year birthday to Anissa Hammond on behalf of her family, our junior Miss Sack and Fox. Happy 12th birthday.
Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for Arlen Good Fox and all his helpers, as well as Mr. Warren Quitone, our head gore dancer, and all of our head gore, all of our gore dancers. We say thank you for making your way over here to the 2023 Choctaw Casino Powwow Celebration. Our gore dance is in the books. All right. As we are getting ready to start transitioning over to our grand entry and our contest dancing this afternoon. It is a little uh, right at 12 o'clock, and so I know we're just a little bit behind schedule, but again, you know, that's quite all right. You know, we try to do the best that we can, but a lot of times, you know, we have to run on Indian time, Indian time. So if you're ever late for work or late for school, you know, just tell your teacher or your boss, I'm running on Indian time. But no, as our gore dancers, our, our singers are getting things taken care of, again, we want to say happy 12th birthday to Anissa Hammond, our junior Miss Sack and Fox. She's also a, a number one fan for our Oklahoma State Cowboys. Do we have any Oklahoma State Cowboy fans in the house? Make some noise. All right, I think last night it was a lot louder. Do we have any OU fans in the house? Make some noise. You know, the last time I was MC when Oklahoma State beat OU, you know, I was wearing this exact same shirt. And I didn't plan it. We were down in Ada, Oklahoma, so I think we may have a little bit of good luck this weekend. All right. Don't be working the mic here with, uh, with Marty. I'll tell you what, we're going to be rocking the mic. We did have a lineup for our uh, singers, but the singers had their own plan. And uh, we were going to go north, south, north, south, all the way around. We still have time if you want to do it. But uh, all the southern guys end up congregating on this side right here but uh we we'll, we're uh, we're known for ironing out stuff ladies and gentlemen are you ready for number one grand entry oh man you could do better than that are we ready for grand entry so am i so am i I'm rocking the mic out here with marty thurman one of the number one mcs in southern United States right here picking up the mic. It's my honor to work alongside this young man, ladies and gentlemen. He is a rodeo man and he is a chicken dancer extraordinaire. We're both buffet eaters. Ah, man, there's a champion if you ever seen one right here. Ladies and gentlemen, we got the lineup ready to go. We have our veterans in the house. We have all their names here. We're going to acknowledge them. Ladies and gentlemen, if you haven't been to a lot, the biggest powwow in southern Oklahoma, you're here now. Welcome to our powwow. My name is Howie Thompson, and I come from Saskatchewan, Canada, and I'm here to help you celebrate this life. I'm here along with Marty Thurman. Ladies and gentlemen, once again, we're going to parade the men. We're going to be on live all over the World Wide Web. Just a quick shout-out just before we get a signal from the far side. Blazing Bear chomping at the bit for our number one grand entry. We're going to go around the horn on my list. Blazing Bear, Rainmaker, Leading, uh, leading Arrow, Iron Bow, uh, you're gonna have your work cut out for you, uh, Dale. We're gonna, we're trying to iron it out, right, Anthony? We were trying to iron it out. We could still do it, but um, uh, ladies and gentlemen, once again, uh, if, uh, take a look behind you. If there's someone standing behind you and want to see, uh, ask them if they're okay. That uh, you're, you're in front of them. We're not here to. Uh, to discourage, we're here to encourage, and uh, that's what it's all about. Welcome to our powwow, welcome to our celebration. We have royalty here. Any first timers that have never been to a powwow before, raise your hand. Oh man, we got a lot. Welcome to our powwow, welcome to our powwow. Story time, storytelling, all that good stuff. Veterans are here chomping. We're gonna wait for our, uh, our, uh, our gourd singers to uh, exit. Are those chairs, Michael? Are those uh, chairs? Man, is there any way I could make one of those disappear? <laughs> <laughs> All right. Also, we have 13 drums that are set up, but I believe only eight have officially registered. So if you haven't got registered, come on up here and see the ladies right behind us here at the speaker stand. We need to get you signed up. Also, on behalf of the arena staff, again, they want you to go set up. Southern Northern, Southern Northern, so you singers, if you could help us out, they want to try something new this year, so we're going to stagger it, Northern, Southern, Northern, Southern, all the way around. You know, normally we have all our Southern drums up on the south side and all the Northern drums on the north side, but this year we're going to go Northern, Southern, Northern, Southern. 
So we'll start with Blazing Bear over here. They are Southern, so the next drum will be Northern, then Southern, Northern. So singers, if you could, help us out, help us out as we're trying to get started here as soon as we can. So again, if our uh, reintroductors come by and ask if you can help us out, you know, we're kindly ask you to switch a spot if we can. All right, again. those drums that didn't register. One of those drums are uh, Indian Hill, I think you said, right? Indian Hill, Ho-Chunk, and the other drum. There's three drums that didn't register. You have to go register. You have to go register. Last night, uh, Marty, we had, uh, just on a Friday night go-around, we had uh, 38 countries viewing us on the World Wide Web, and also we had 100, and, was it 100, uh, Mike? 100 and something thousand? 135,000 viewers watching us last night on the World Wide Web. We're going to break that record. We're going to shatter that record this, this year. Last year, we were over 892,000 viewers around the world. We're going to try to shatter that record for uh, the Choctaw Nation here at Durant. Also, I know some of our uh, Gore Dance singers are dancers, and so we're trying to allow some time to get ready. But again, if you want to write your number down, bring it on up here. I can vouch for you as you were uh, singing. Again, I want to give a shout out to our drums. Help us out. Help us out. We're trying to move our drums around. We're going to try to move them around. We want to go northern, southern. So again, we want to help them out. Again, powwows.com. They have stepped up to the plate. They want to, uh, you know, every grand entry go around. Every grand entry, we're going to be picking one man, one woman as we're going to have a champion, the grand entry winner, will be winning $25 gift cards. So all you dancers will be coming in dancing your style. All right, this is what we're going to do. We're going to hold up for about 15 minutes because we're going to rearrange the drums. Blazing Bear, you stay where you're at. Rainmaker, you're going to be right over here. Bring your drum. Rainmaker, you're going to move. Oh, uh, Rainmaker, you're Southern, you stand there. Is that Southern, Rainmaker? What about Leading Arrow? You want to take this drum and uh, you want to take this list? Here. I got one. All right, we're going to go with uh, Anthony and Walter. They're going to make the drum list uh, happen. And uh, this is the way it has to happen. Just due to the fact that we, we're really compressed. And this is one of the organized powwows in all of southern United States. I'll tell you what, and uh, we're trying to organize it the way it should be. Uh, so that we can uh, rock the, the categories in the time restraint that we have. So uh, with that, uh, I'm going to turn the mic over here to Marty. He's going to uh, give the, uh, the lineup of our, uh, of our drum. What happened to my list? <laughs> it's right here. All right. So we'll be getting ready for our uh, grand entry and our drum roll call, but we're going to try to get our drums situated. So we're trying to do the best that we can. But also just a heads up to all of our contest dancers. Everybody will be contesting this afternoon. We'll be starting with our 70-plus men and women, then golden age, senior adult, junior adult, teens, and then juniors. I also believe we do have Tiny Tots. Tiny Tots will be first up. They'll be first up as we get everything together. We'll try to throw in some inner tribals as well as uh, we're trying to be uh, very hospitable to all of our dancers. I believe everybody will be getting one song this afternoon. One song this afternoon. So if our arena directors come over and ask you kindly to move over a spot, please just try to help us out. So again, as a uh, dancer and singer myself, I'd like to be informed on what's going on. I'd like to know what's going on, kind of get a heads up on what we're going to do. So again, uh, we'll be starting off with a round of intertribals, our tiny tots, and then 70-plus men and women, golden age, senior adult, junior adult, teens, and then we'll finish with our juniors. And after our juniors will be the first go-round of the memorial, Dennis Navaquia men's chicken special. All right, we're just going to go with it, uh, with, uh, with the, what we have in our list right now. I don't know how, where we're going to go with this. This list is all over the map now. So uh, <laughs> uh, give me, a, give me a, a, this afternoon list really quickly then. This is the order we're going to go with? We're going to go with this one for now? All right. So this one here, we can file it under G. Yeah. That's the same list. All right, let's go with that one then. 
All right. Hit the drum the fanciest way you know how. Blazing Bear. We're looking at you. Ooh, three, four traditional hits. Rainmaker. All right, that'll do. Leading Arrow. Iron Bow. Rose Hill. One. Fort Peck Sioux. Full Metal Jacket. Southern Boys. Man, who let the dogs out? Man, that's cool right there. Rockin' Bear. Indian Hill. Ho Chunk Station. Showtime. The Boys. Young Tribe. We got them all. We got them all. Now, ladies and gentlemen, once we start our song, we're going to ask our, 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 our elder here, our young man, to come and say the invocation. You know, ladies and gentlemen, as, uh, as First Nations people of the land of our country, we always ask for permission for the things we do, and we talk to the kind, loving creator. We're asking Hokey Claremont to come forward, ladies and gentlemen, out of the Twin Cities, Minneapolis, to say our invocation, to say our prayer, and also to say a thank you that we're here for many, many miles we put together to, to come to celebrate with the Choctaw Nation, ladies and gentlemen, Hokey Claremont. Oh, Mataka P. Chateo, I stand up there. Choose Apollo. Greet you all a good afternoon. And uh, I want to excuse myself in front of uh, the elders here in this community, the spiritual people here in this community, and uh, especially my, my uncle, my dad, Wilson. Used to have him uh, saying the prayer, but I'm very honored and uh, I sure can use the blessing in my life. Uh -huh. I want to uh, say a wopila tanka chichapalo to my misunkala Walter. And my chie, Robert, uh, for asking me to uh, say a prayer. And uh, so I'm not going to take too much time. And then uh, I want to uh, let you all, relatives, friends, family know The other day, my dad, he had uh, a PET scan done on him again to see where his uh, cancer is at at this period. And uh, the doctor, we got the results on Thursday. And the doctor let us know that uh, the cancer is gone. So I, I, on behalf of my family and I want to say a, a big thank you to my family down here, southern family, relatives. Then he's made some relatives years back down here. Say thank you to you each one of you for your prayer for my dad.
So I want to uh, take this little time and thank each one of you. Those of you uh, singers that said a prayer around your drum for him. Put some tobacco on the drum for him. From my whole heart, say thank you to each one of you. So I ask you all to uh, bear along with me here. I'm not going to take up too much time. And we could come here, celebrate, celebrate life through song, through dance. Come to your word of prayer at this time. I ask that you look down upon our, our chanchegas, our okawi chashas, our okawiyas. I ask that you look down upon our Wachiwi Chashas, Wachiwi Koshkalaka, we Koshkala, Wakaija, the Wamli Weakas that come in here, dancers. Tokashala Wakantanka, O Pila Tanka, Chichapu. All the praise, glory go to you, Creator. Without you, none of this is possible. Our dance, our song, our voices, our spirit. I ask that you look down upon each one, each tribe, each clan, each society, family, bloodline. Come here, celebrate, enjoy, enjoy life. In there, there might be some relatives, family, in mourn. In there, there might be some family, relatives that are sick. I ask that you look down upon them, bless them, can uplift them spiritually, mentally, physically, each and every way. Come to your word of prayer at this time here. Through my brothers, ask me here, Mukashala. Gave me a Chun Li like that, Mukashala. Come to your word of prayer. All the praise, glory, go to you, Creator. Ask a special word of prayer at this time for the head staff, the Apahas, arena directors, the committee. I said you look down upon the community here. The elders. Things that they take care of. Their language. Ceremonies. Spirituality. All the way down to the children. Even the unborn like that. I said you bless the Choctaw people. Things that they have, things that they worry about, like that, Mukashi, for their future. Things can be good for them, future days, future years, like that, Mukashi. Mukashi, Kantanka, come to your word of prayer. Grateful to you for everything that you blessed us with. Mukashi, Kantanka, come to your word of prayer again. I said you continue this time here. Take a little moment. Say my wopila. We have me kaat day. Washi chu wash day. Wopila tonka chichaplo tonkashila. Tonkashila wa kantonka. I said you look down upon our, our veterans. Someday they could, this war, this fighting could end, come home, their families. I 
Kashalawa Kantanka Wambli Kanagi Oloa O Pilatanka Chicha Blok Kash. Thank you, Brother Hokey. Again, we ask uh, God to be with you and your family, you know, this holiday season, and to all of our individuals that are struggling with a lot of health and inflictions upon the body, you know, we ask the Creator to look down upon them. Ladies and gentlemen, we're getting ready to go into grand entry number one, Saturday afternoon. We're going to start off here with Blazing Bear, Singing Champions, and we're going to go all the way down the line, all the way as far as we can go. Ladies and gentlemen, if you would, please rise as we go to our first grand entry, as we bring in the Eagle Staff and all of our flags, the beautiful stars and stripes, we call upon Blazing Bear, if you would, grand entry. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, we're going to parade in our veterans as they pass you by. Stand by. Rainmaker, stand by. Ladies and gentlemen, as they make their way onto the dance floor, we say welcome with a round of applause to our Choctaw Nation Honor Guard. And now making their way into our grand entry, ladies and gentlemen, we have our head gourd dancer. Our gourd dancers, ladies and gentlemen, let's pay them off in a round of applause and welcome them to our grand entry. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to parade in our leadership. Ladies and gentlemen, our leadership, we put this beautiful celebration together so that we can enjoy the life that we have, the kind love the Creator had given us. Ladies and gentlemen, let's give them a big round of applause, our leadership here at Top Top Celebration. Gentlemen, we'd like to introduce a very special individual that is making his way onto the dance floor. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause? And we ask Mr. Chief Gary Patton, give us a wave. We say welcome. Follow behind our 
tribal council. We have different tribal members. We'll introduce them shortly. But we also say welcome to all of our tribal royalty. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, in front of the altar staff, we would like to welcome of our royalty, representing their communities, their schools, their societies, their nation. Welcome to Grand Entry. All right, we move next door. Rainmaker, keep them going, keep them dancing. Stand by, leading arrow. <laughs> Making their way in front of the speaker stand, we say welcome to all of our beautiful Choctaw Nation women. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're going to parade in our men's golden age, our men's senior golden age. Ladies and gentlemen, we have our northern traditional. We have our southern straight. We have our bustle, our fancy. We have our northern style, southern style. In the men's golden age, senior golden age, put your brown hands together. Let's welcome them to our grand entry. Welcome to grand entry. Leading arrow, take it away. Iron Bow, stand by Rose Hill. You're on deck, Fort Peck Sioux, you're in the hole. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we got our men's grass in the senior division. We welcome them into this beautiful grand entry, the most colorful event in all of Indian country. We call it the grand entry. This is the number one in all of Indian country to parade in in your single respectful category. Welcome them to our grand entry. Ladies and gentlemen, as they make their way onto the dance floor, we pay them off with a round of applause. We will say welcome to our women's Golden Age Dancers.
We move next door, Iron Bow. Stand by Rose Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're going to parade in our women's golden age, our women's senior division. We got them all coming on in. We have our women's traditional women's cloth, women's elk tooth, women's high steppers, women's southern buckskin, women's southern cloth, women's short fringe, women's long fringe, women's southern cloth, women's northern cloth, women's jingle. Welcome to Granite Tree. What's her name again? Ladies and gentlemen, at this time, we're parading in our storytellers through song and dance from days of old. We have our myth traditional. Welcome to Granitry. the way onto the dance floor. We say welcome to the pride of Oklahoma, our men's Southern Straight Dancers.
celebration. We're going to parade them in the best way we know how in our power. Welcome to Granite Tree. In the men's division, our men's prairie chicken. Welcome to Gunnetry.
as they make their way in front of the speaker stand, we say welcome to our women's traditional. Southern boys, keep them dancing. Stand by, Rockin' Bear. As our women's traditional make their way onto the dance floor, we have High Stepper, we have Short Bridge, we have women's Southern Claws, Southern Buckskin, Northern Traditional, Applique. We say welcome.
on God's green earth, our grand entry. Song ready. gentlemen all our dancers are now in that would fit in we had to dance some of them out to get them all in they could hear you now ladies and gentlemen let's give them a big round of applause at this time ladies and gentlemen we're gonna uh, we're gonna do some introductions before we go into the uh, flag song with the boys I'm gonna turn things over for uh, one step forward to Marty Thurman I'd like to introduce our Choctaw Nation honor guard Ladies and gentlemen, carrying in our Eagle Staff, member of the U.S. Army, one step forward, Bruce Jesse. Round of applause. <laughs> carrying in the United States of America flag, U.S. Army Air Force veteran, Taylor Williston. One step forward. Carrying in the Choctaw Nation flag, U.S. Army veteran, Shane Harpy. Carrying in the Choctaw Nation Warrior Flag, U.S. Air Force, Terry Cole, one step forward. Carrying in the State of Oklahoma Flag, U.S. Navy Veteran, Ken Heber. Prisoner of War Missing in Action Flag, U.S. Marine Corps, Marlena Lewis, one step forward. Also would like to recognize the other members from the U.S. Army, Shirley Manitachi, U.S. Army, Olivia Gregg, U.S. Army, McKenna Roberts. Carrying in our different service flags, the United States Army, U.S. Army flag, Mike Robbins, one step forward. Carrying in the U.S. Marine flag, Danny Belvin, one step forward. United States Navy flag, carrying by U.S. Army veteran Roger Scott, one step forward. Our United States Air Force flag, carried by our U.S. Air Force veteran, Kelly Taylor. And the United States Coast Guard flag, carried in by U.S. Air Force veteran, Nicole Gilliam. At this time, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to go to our, our drum group of the boys to sing our very own flag song, our Indian national anthem. Ladies and gentlemen, we ask you to please remain standing for our veterans, the boys.
this time, ladies and gentlemen, we do have our victory song. We're going to go to the tribe for our victory song. and victory. This song is for our veterans as we are still here. We are still dancing. We are still carrying on all of our traditions, our language. Ladies and gentlemen, round of applause for all of our veterans. This time, ladies and gentlemen, our veterans are going to post their colors. Again, ladies and gentlemen, one last time, round of applause for our Choctaw Nation Honor Guard. All right, dancers, you are dismissed, and we're asking all of our royalty to stay centered put as we'll be going to some introductions. Also, it wouldn't be a power if we didn't have somebody, a lost little kid, lost children. And we have Angelie up here. She's sitting up here and sitting, keeping me company. She said, I've lost my mom and dad. I know where I'm at, but my mom and dad are lost. So we've got Angelie up here, little jingle dress dancer. So if you're missing Angelie, she is up here keeping me and Howie company. I'm going to give her a name if you don't come and claim her right away. We'd like to do some introductions at this time, and it gives me a great honor and a privilege to introduce some of our Choctaw Tribal Council that have joined us this weekend. Ladies and gentlemen, I introduced him as he made his way onto the dance floor, but I've seen this gentleman all throughout Indian country. He's done a lot of awesome things for the Choctaw Nation. Ladies and gentlemen, please welcome with a big round of applause, Mr. Chief Gary Batten. If you would please, Gary, give everybody a wave. He says, welcome to beautiful Durant Choctaw Nation. Also, we'd like to recognize a young lady that has made her way down here from Manitoba, Canada. We say welcome to Miss 
<laughs> Heidi Cook, the chief of Missapatoya Cree Nation Grand Rapids, Manitoba, Canada. Let's give her a round of applause. Also, we'd like to recognize some of the Choctaw Tribal Council that is in attendance. One step forward, if you would please, Mr. Thomas Williston. Come on up here and shake hands. We also want to say welcome to Mr. Tony Ward. We say welcome also Mr. Ron Perry. Jennifer Woods, if you would, come on up, give us a wave. Also introducing Mr. Joey Tom. Again, it's always good to see. I've always remembered this name. We say welcome to Mr. James Dry. Also, I'd like to recognize Mr. Anthony Dillard. Also recognizing Mr. Robert Carr. Also, we don't have the names for the individuals that are still standing, but we'd like to recognize a delegation from the Supply Nations in Australia representing multiple tribes within our tribes. If you would, please, come on, give our crowd a wave. It's good, and we say welcome to the Choctaw Nation here in beautiful Duran, Oklahoma. All right, thank you. We're going to go with uh, the introductions of our royalty, but in the meantime, I'm going to give these uh, people on call. We need our southern singing judges, Wichita Blaine, Pepper uh, Taya, Pat Moore, John Wright, Sonny Bullock. Come and see our, uh, our, singing, our head singing judge. Also, we need Pat Pacheco, Daryl Three Irons, Clay Crawford, Mike One Star, and Clifton Goodwill. Come and see our head singing judges and see where you're going to stand. Introducing, ladies and gentlemen, in no particular order that I have in my list here, we'll go with the second Fox Honor Guard Princess Alicia Fraser Walker, Kiowa Society Princess Peggy Ann, ooh, ooh. let me try it, Peggy Ann Mary Ulala. I don't know, Kashara Princess. Uh, Shia Gray Mountain. Come on forward as I introduce your name. Come on forward as I introduce your name. Um, representing Junior Nation Princess uh, Kwapa, Betty Goodbear. Come forward, Betty. Come and shake hands, Betty. Miss Austin Powell Princess Hyanna Perkins. Junior Miss Choctaw Nation, Cassidy Lee. There she is. Lily Miss Choctaw Nation, Sophia McFerlin. Lil Miss District 4 of the Choctaw Nation, Tenley Reese. District 7, Junior Princess, Choctaw Nation, Mia Reese. District 8, Junior Princess, Choctaw Nation, Samantha Scott. Miss Choctaw Nation 2324, Alaya Myers. D Little District 5 Princess, Rayleigh Watts. District 12 Senior Princess, Choctaw Nation, Kaylin Madora. I hope I said your name right. The ink ran out. Uh, District 6 Senior Princess, Riley Isabel. Comanche Nation Junior Princess, Vivian Parker. Kashada Junior Princess, uh, Liza Williams, uh, Junior Miss Okla Chata Clan of California, Tiffany Jar Amalo, Little Miss Okla Cha Clan of California, Harmony Char Omala, Senior Miss District 9, Yanzi Wilson, Little Miss District 9, Adrian Samuels, Junior Miss District 4, Mikan Davidson, Senior Miss District Grace Tisso. And there's something silent there. I hope I said your name right. Uh, Little Miss District 7, Malaya Trusty, Junior Miss Second Fox, Anisha Harm. Hammond, my bad. Little Miss Sacken Fox, Malaya Warrior. Ponca Tribal Princess, Kayleen Hedman, Ponca. 
Choctaw Nation Senior Princess Diamond Henry. Miss Indian OU Brooklyn Shape. Is that it? Did I say your name right? Not even close? Uh, we'll get it. Um, Little Miss District number one, Isabel McDaniel. Ladies and gentlemen, we ran out of names on a piece of paper here. Let me check, let me flip the page. We have Kathleen Hedman, Ponca. That's it. Well, I'd like to call up those four, uh, those five come up here. We'll get your names. We have uh, four more grand entries. We have four more grand entries. Give me your name as well and come up here and put your name on my list. Give us your name. Just come up here. Come up to the stage. Just come up here quickly. We have any uh, warm introductions in the meantime? At this time, we'd like to direct your attention to the, uh, up here at the right in front of the speaker stand. We'd like to say welcome to uh, Mr. Uh, Chief Gary Batten. And on behalf of all of our head staff and all of them that are in attendance, we say thank you for extending you know, the invitation for each and every one of us to come down here to experience the beautiful Choctaw Nation. So at this time, we'd like to open up this uh, evening or this afternoon here with some remarks. So ladies and gentlemen, please direct your attention as we introduce Mr. Chief Gary Batten. Well, Yakoki and Halito and hello and welcome everybody to the Choctaw Nation of Oklahoma. It's so great to see so many sovereign nations represented today and their citizens. And uh, I just want to say, Yakoki, thank you on behalf of the Choctaw Nation for being here today. This has been a wonderful week for us here within the Choctaw Nation. Uh, yesterday we had the, the dedication of Highway 6975. We opened up homes for our tribal members this, this week for affordable rental housing. And one of the things that I'm so excited about, we've been able to work with um, Marvel and Disney to have our first Native American, excuse my name, or excuse my language, first Native American badass in regards to Echo. So uh, she's a Amaya Lopez, which is she's a Choctaw that's going to be represented. It's so great to see our uh, language being spoken on the screen. It will be coming out January 10th on uh, Disney and Hulu. But I tell you, this person here to my right, Miss Sydney Freeland, she was a director of that series, and she made sure that everything was authentic. She worked with our language department, with our cultural department, to make sure everything was so correct. And I wanted to take just a little bit of time to recognize Miss Sydney Freeland, Disney, and Marvel for working with tribes and Native Americans to bring our history and our culture to light. And if y'all would, let's give a big Native American welcome to Miss Sydney Freeland. Uh, thank you, Chief Batten. Uh, incredibly honored to be here today. Um, yes, uh, couldn't have said it better. Uh, Marvel's first uh, uh, Native American character is coming January 10th. Uh, for those of you that were here last night, we had a screening of the first two episodes and um, uh, we tried incredibly hard to be, you know, to bring uh, this experience to, to the big screen. And um, yeah, we're, we're excited to share with you all. So, uh, Yako Key and uh, January 10th, Hulu, Disney Plus. Thank you all. Again, one more time, a round of applause for all of our dignitaries. Again, we say thank you to Chief Batten and all your tribal council. All right, we're going to go with inner travel. Before we go to inner travel, uh, just put this, uh, Marty, you want to put this young little dancer, this champion on this uh, chair right here. We have a lost little uh, jingle dress dancer right here, number 839. And uh, she's got some beautiful uh, pigtails happening here. She's got a jingle dress dancer. If this is your little girl right here, um, come and claim her. She's up here. She said, hey, Mr. Too Good Looking MC guys, I am lost. Well, you're not lost. You, we found you, but your mom and dad are lost. All right, we're going to go with a round of inner travel, but first of all, we need these judges to come and see these guys up here in front. We need, uh, on the southern side, uh, Wichita Blaine, Pepper Taya, Pat Moore, John Wright, Sonny Bowak. You're going to see Anthony Manassi right here. On the northern side, you come and see uh, Walter. We need Pat Pacheco, Daryl Three Irons, Clay Crawford, Mike One Star, Clifton Goodwill, and Doug Schofield. You're on standby. All right, we're going to bring this little girl up here, the one that was uh, kind of lost. She was looking for her, her folks. 
We're going to bring her out here in front. That way we can kind of see her. If somebody may know her, she's not lost. She knows where she's at. Her parents don't know where they are. So right out here, this little uh, jingle dress dancer, you know, we're looking for her, her relatives. Blazing Bear, we're going to be coming to you for the first intertribal. Second intertribal will be coming on over to Fort Peck Sioux. So we'll be standing by. Give me the signal that your judges there, uh, Anthony. All your judges are there. We're going to go with Blazing Bear. Now, ladies and gentlemen, once again, we brought in all our dancers as possible. We had to dance some of them out. The lost little child is on the dance floor. If anybody recognizes this lost little baby right here. Claude Friday. Claude Friday. Your baby's on the floor. Claude Friday. Okay, we know where Claude Friday is sitting over there. Uh, he's sitting right over here someplace in the corner. Claude didn't even care. Yeah. Once you have a, a Choctaw taco, eh, nothing matters. <laughs> All right, are we ready, Anthony? Let's make them dance. Blazing Bear. Clifton and Clay Walker report over to Fort Peck Sioux. Clay Crawford and Clifton Goodwill report over to Fort Peck Sioux. gonna have too much of a wiggle room in, uh, in the uh, intertribals but right after intertribals listen up we're gonna ask our uh, for the honor song for our following our Chata, our Chata foster children adoptees birth parents adoptive families aged out foster children and foster families we're gonna invite you to a circle to come and we'll recognize you right after a round of intertribal Fort Peck Sioux if you will please Hooka four. Hold on, hold on, hold on, hold on. My bad, my bad. We need one more judge, right? One more judge. Let me see if I have them here. Do we have uh, Pat Pacheco? Is he there? Pat Pacheco, are you there? All right. What about uh, Daryl Three Irons? He's there. What about uh, Clay Crawford? Okay, we're good to go. Fort Peck Sioux.
Thank you there, Fort Peck Sioux. Ladies and gentlemen, we've got some very special guests in the house. We'd like to say welcome to the Choctaw Nation. We have some foreign exchange students from Germany giving us a wave right there. Ladies and gentlemen, how about a round of applause for our foreign exchange students making their way all the way over here first time. Choctaw Nation celebration. They came on a bus. Yeah. <laughs> all right, we're going to go over to Rainmaker. All those ones that ask for a second song when they're dancing contest, now's your time to use these inner tribals. Don't forget about the powwow auction tomorrow morning. Tomorrow morning, powwow auction right after court dance. Oh man, we're gonna sell some good Indian artifacts. How are you doing, Corey? Thank you. Move on over, judges. We're going over to Rock and Bear. Give me the signal, Rock and Bear. Where are you at? Where's the Rock and Bear? Are we good? All right. Got the signal. Rock and Bear.
stay out there, stay out there. Uh, we have a lost and found box. You want to look, look at something, come and check out the box. If not, it's going to auction tomorrow. And also, uh, we're going over to Leading Arrow. We have also to our Chata foster family, children, adoptees, birth parents, adopted families, aged out foster parents and children. We're going to honor you right after a round of inner travels. After that, Tiny Tot, lace them up. A little quick shout out to uh, Skunk Hollow in Muscapating, Saskatchewan. They have a, a person that's watching in his pajamas yet. All right. Here we go, leading arrow, oh ha! Drum Indian Hill is in the house. Judges are there. Let's make them dance. Indian Hill in her tribal style. Ah! <laughs> 
we have it out there. Boy, it's good to be Indian today. We're going over to our next drum, and that's on the southern side of things over here. So that would be Iron Bow. Are you in the house, Iron Bow? I do believe all the judges are there. Iron Bow, give us an inner tribal, please. Iron Bow. Iron Bow. Chunk Station, stand by. back over to the north side. Our judges are over there ready to go. Hold up, we're waiting on a couple more. Ho-Chunk Station will be standing by and we'll be coming back over here to Rose Hill. All right, we're ready to go. Inner travel time, Ho-Chunk Station.
Uh, thank you, Ho-Chung Station. Stand by, Rose Hill. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we direct your attention up here to the speaker stand. We have some T-shirts and sweatshirts. They are raising some money, some extra spending money for uh, the Dennis Navaquia Chicken Dance Special. We have two young uh, individuals who are going to be walking around. We have hoodies for $65 and T-shirts for $35. We have sizes up to 2X. We even have kids' sizes. So if you like one of these uh, sweatshirts, stop, flag one of these uh, young folks down and get you a T-shirt. We also have some other drum groups that have some T-shirts available. I'm not 100% sure what drums have them. But again, if you like what you're listening, Blazing Bear, I know, has some T-shirts. They also have some pins, I do believe. And I don't know of any other drum groups that may have some. We're looking over to Rose Hill. Are we ready over there, Anthony? We're ready to go, Rose Hill, if you would, Inner Tribal. side again we're gonna come on over to showtime we're ready to go if you would showtime enter tribal stand by full metal jacket
Thank you there. Showtime. Stand by for Metal Jacket. Ladies and gentlemen, again, we want to uh, give a shout out to Happy Hostile Snag and Berries out of Yakima, Washington, right outside the door. They brought up here some uh, awesome uh, strawberries on a stick. Howie took them down in one bite. All right, we're looking over there to uh, Full Metal Jacket. As soon as I get the high sign, stand by the boys. Also, Tiny Tots stand by, and a quick shout out to Larry White over in Idaho. He's watching this power live. Wishing he was here. Wish you were here too, Larry White and uh, Bobby White. Welcome uh, to our power. Hour. All right, Anthony, we're looking to you. Do we get the high sign? You ready to go, Anthony? All right, we're ready to go. Full Metal Jacket, Inner Tribal. Thank you there, Full Metal Jacket. Before we move over to the boys, I don't know if uh, Chief Gary Batten is still in the house, but we do have some relatives over here to the side of the speaker stand that are wanting to see you. I believe they've come with some gifts. So if Chief Gary Batten is still in the house, we've got some relatives over here looking to visit with you. All right, we're looking to 
the north side. We're looking to uh, Walter. We're waiting for the high side. All right, we got the high side. The boys enter tribal. concluding of one we have one more two more inner tribals but we need to see a uh, rainmaker iron bowl blazing bear indian hill the boys and ho-chunk station up at the announcer stand we need to see you asap we need these judges on standby we need uh nathan little crow from oklahoma brody screaming eagle from texas haga cleveland from nebraska He's the Huskies, and Patsy Grant from New Mexico, Dana Davenport from Iowa. Group two on this set of judges, we need uh, Greg Red Elk from Montana. We need Patrick Moore Jr. from Oklahoma, Claude Friday from Jamaica, and we need uh, Alicia Schofield from Kansas, and we need Alana Trudeau from California. We need them to see Michael Roberts in front of the announcer stand. All right, we got two more inner tribals to go. So we're looking over towards Anthony. Make sure we're ready to go. He says we're ready to go. Southern boys, if you would, inner tribal.
five Southern boys. Uh, stand by, Young Tribe. Young Tribe, stand by for our final intertribal. Again, we want to give a shout out to powwows.com as well as Lone Teepee, taking us all over the globe, World Wide Web. All right, we're ready to go. We got the high sign, Young Tribe, intertribal. If somebody's missing a tooth out of their uh, out of their uh, partial, we have it up here. Oh, that's a sharp bugger. <laughs> uh, anyway, clear the arena. Also, honor song for the foster children of all our lost children. That's going to be uh, right now, uh, right now. So all the uh, honor song and the drum group that's going to be singing for the uh, for the honor song. We'll go to the next one. That'll be Blazing Bear. You're going to be singing. We're going to go in rotation. Rotation. Well, we're uh, calling out all the uh, Chara foster children, adoptees, birth parents, adoptive families, aged out foster children, foster families. You are invited to come to our circle as we honor you at this time. Uh, you're also welcome here to uh, 
We'd like to acknowledge you. We're going to go to the drum group of uh, Blazing Bear to help us out. All those ones that are in those uh, things there, also investigators that were part of it, uh, to bring our children back to our families, our loved ones, to come on up. Come on up right now. There's a whole bunch, and you're just coming right, right, into, that, uh, right into the carpet, please. As you're coming out, there's a gentleman watching us back home. He's from Piapot, Saskatchewan. His name is Joe Forhorn, and he said, give me a shout out. I'm having a real good time watching your powwow, wishing I was there. Hey, here's all our family here. Here's all our family here. Also, uh, Michael, a quick shout out. He says uh, to um, Donnie Spidell. He says, uh, tell Michael, give me a quick shout out. I know, there you go. <laughs> there you are, Donnie. Just for you. All right, we're going to go to honor song. Yeah, you should be here, Donnie. What are you doing sitting back on your sofa? Nah, he doesn't have a couch. He took his back seat of his car out. Yeah, you're supposed to get dressed now, Donnie. All right, we've got the uh, honor song, ladies and gentlemen. We're going to go to Blazing Bear. Ladies and gentlemen, there's more to this. So if you're here, we want you to come back. Come on out. Honoring our foster children of all lost children, Blazing Bear. You know, ladies and gentlemen, our children, our families that were broken by the government and by, by the agencies. We prayed hard to our grandmothers, our grandfathers, our moms and our dads. They prayed for the return, our safe return and the healthiness of our children that were taken. But they were taken from some good families and they were put in. They were bringing them back to the circle here to acknowledge their grandfathers, to acknowledge their culture and their ways, to wear the ribbon skirts and the feathers, to wear the fringe, to come into the circle of life, to come on in dancing, to feel that beat of Mother Earth. Thank you, Blazing Bear, for that beautiful honor song, to recognize these families, these children that were lost. We're going to welcome them with open hearts. Good feelings. Welcome to our powwow. Welcome to our nation. Welcome to our culture. This is yours you're born and raised with. We're just now waking it up. Oh, ha. Huh. That sack and frock princess that was holding a special. We need you to see you right now at the announcer stand.
Thank you, Blazing Bear, and thank you, families. Uh, we acknowledge you with a beautiful honors song. That song now is uh, in the uh, universe. All right, all Tiny Tots, and stand by after Tiny Tots. Um, All right, we're going to start with the men right after Tiny Tots, 70 plus men division, and that would be 70 plus men division. I think that's all combined. 70 plus all men combined stand by, 70 plus women combined stand by as well. We're going to come to you, and then when we come back here, we're going to Golden Age, the regular Golden Age. We'll start off with the, the yeah, Golden Age men, and that would be the Golden Age. Men traditional. All right, go, Tiny Tots. If there's no Tiny Tots, we're going to go right into the Golden Age. So Tiny Tots, come on in, singing for you. We've got the Northern Drum, Port Peksu. Tiny Tots right here in five, four, three, Fort Peksu in two, one, Fort Peksu. applause to our tiny tots all right tiny tots we'll have another go round tomorrow we'll pay you out tomorrow double pay all right as they clear the floor we're going to be calling upon our senior golden age men 70 plus all men combined stand by rainmaker group number one judges be coming up meeting with michael we need to see Natha, brody haga patsy and dana and then stand by, group number two. We need uh, Greg, Patrick, Claude, Alicia, and Alana. So again, senior golden age men combined. Be making your way onto the dance floor. 70 plus, stand by women's golden age, 70 plus. And then we're going right into our golden age women and men, 55 to 69. As you dance, uh, 
After you dance, you're excused, right, Michael? After you dance, you're excused. And don't forget about the grand entry. We're at uh, 7 o'clock sharp for grand entry, 7 o'clock sharp. We have no wiggle room. Also, a reminder to our chicken dancers, the uh, Memorial First School Round of the Dennis Navaquoya Memorial will be this afternoon, the last special. It'll be the last thing we're going to do this afternoon. Also, we ask you to patronize our uh, uh, Everett Moore's booth over there. I believe he does have a raffle still going on. He's selling T-shirts and sweatshirts. And uh, also, I believe there's a 50-50 going around in uh, memory of Dennis Navaquoya to raise some funds. Stand by, Rainmaker, stand by. Group number one judges, we need Natha, Brody, Haga, Patsy, and Dana. Group number two, you'll judge the second one. Stand by, Senior Golden Age Women, 70 plus. All right, we're ready to go. Rainmaker, if you would, please, contest. Thank you there, Rainmaker. All right, gentlemen, come on up. Line up right here in the center of the arena. Stand by Senior Golden Age Women. Group number two judges be making your way up. We need to see Greg, Patrick, Claude, Alicia, and Elena. Singing for our Senior Golden Age Women will be coming to Fort Peck Sioux, I believe. Are they y'all sing for Tiny Tots? Y'all sing for Tiny Tots. All right, we'll be coming over to Rock and Bear. Rock and Bear, stand by. All right, the balloting is done. How about a round of applause for our senior golden age, 70 plus? We're calling upon our senior golden age women. Make your way into the arena. Be standing by golden age men and women. We'll be coming to our men's traditional golden age men first. Then we'll be going to northern traditional. I'll be waiting for the high sign. Stand by Rock and Bear. All right, we're ready to go. Rock and Bear, if you would, please. Contest, senior golden age women.
round of applause for our senior Golden Age women. Right here, ladies. We'll be coming to our men's Golden Age traditional, 55 to 69. We'll be coming to a northern drum, so we'll be coming over to Indian Hill, stand by. All right, we're calling the judges out onto the dance floor. We're gonna go a little bit quicker, as again, we've got 52 total dance categories to go through. So we're gonna try to run right through it. And again, if you came to Comanche Nation Fair and how we had that infamous five second countdown, We'll be going to that shortly, so be standing by. Again, third and final call to our Golden Age men, 55 to 69 Northern Traditional. Stand by Golden Age women, Northern Traditional. So we'll go Northern Traditional, women's Northern Traditional, men's straight, women's Southern Traditional, men's grass, jingle, fancy shawl, uh, fancy, and the chicken. So we'll be going back and forth, back and forth. All right, how about a round of applause for our senior Golden Age women as they make their way out the dance floor. All right, we're ready to go. Indian Hill, if you would. Golden Age men traditional, 55 to 69. for these gentlemen. All right, gentlemen, if you would, please come to the south side of the arena. Come see Michael. All right, we're calling to the dance floor. We're Golden Age Women Northern Traditional. Come on to the dance floor. I do believe we have three contestants. Stand by Ho-Chunk Station. Following our Northern Traditional, we'll be calling upon our men's Golden Age Straight. And singing for you, we'll be coming back up to Leading Arrow. All right, we're ready to go. Ho Chunk Station contest.
medical personnel to the front entrance. Medical personnel to the front entrance. applause for our northern traditional over there to the north side all right golden age men 55 to 69 southern straight men come on into the dance floor i do believe we have eight contestants stand by leading arrow following our straight dancers will be coming to our golden age women's southern traditional and i believe we'll be coming back to the southern side so we'll be going over to rose hill oh no iron bow iron bow stand by All right, third and final call to our Golden Age men's Southern Straight. Southern Straight onto the dance floor. All right, we're ready to go, if you would please. Leading arrow contest. here for our senior golden age on the south side all right senior or golden age women 55 to 69 southern traditional women come on out to the dance floor singing for you will be iron bow stand by senior or golden age men 55 to 69 grass stand by jingle you will be on deck singing for men's grass we will be coming down to showtime stand by I believe our Southern traditional golden age, 55 to 69, we have 10 contestants, 10 contestants. As they make their way onto the dance floor, we wanna give them just a little bit of extra time, but once we get to our senior and junior adults, we'll be going into the infamous five second countdown. All right, we're ready to go Iron Bow, if you would, contest.
round of applause down here on the north side. North side, go over there and see Walter. All right, we're calling upon Golden Age Men's Grass. On to the dance floor, Golden Age Men's Grass dancers. We do have five contestants. Stand by Jingle will be coming over to Showtime for our grass. And our Golden Age Jingle will be coming over to the boys. So stand by. Again, we know we have a lot of spectators in the house here this weekend. And if you turn around and you see somebody trying to watch that is seated in a chair, have some respect for them and maybe kneel down. That way everybody can see. We do have a lot of seating available in the stands. So again, if you're standing there clear near the arena, maybe have a seat or maybe take a knee and uh, have some respect for some individuals that are trying to watch the power right behind you. All right, we're ready to go. Showtime, if you would, contest Golden Age Men's Grass. Stand by, jingle. <laughs> applause we're going down to the south side come on down to the south side of the arena we're calling golden age women jingle stand by the boys also we have good friend uh, Larray Guerrero he is going around selling uh, tickets the 50 50 pot again raising some money here for the Dennis Navacoya especially he's over here on the south side carrying around a, a uh, red sign there selling chances on the 50 50 all right, Golden Age women, Jingle, stand by the boys. We'll be coming to men's fancy, Golden Age fancy. We'll be calling on you next. All right, we're ready to go. The boys contest.
round of applause here for our champion jingle dress dancers over to the north side. We're calling upon Golden Age men, Fancy Feather. Come on to the dance floor. Singing for you will be Rose Hill. Stand by. When we come to our Golden Age Fancy Shawl, we'll be kicking it back over to Young Tribes. We'll stand by. As our Fancy Feather making their way onto the dance floor here, we're going to be coming to Rose Hill. And just want to give a quick update up there in Stillwater, Oklahoma. With 11.39 left to go in the first, we have OU0, OSU7. Uh-oh. All right, we're waiting for the high sign. We're ready to go. Rose Hill, if you would, contest. for these champion dancers. All right, we're calling upon the dance floor, our Golden Age Fancy Shawl. We should have four contestants. Stand by, Young Tribe. Following our Fancy Shawl, we'll be calling on our men's Golden Age Chicken Dancers. We should have two. And then we'll be going right into our women's Choctaw 18 plus. So right after our Chicken Dancers, we'll be calling upon our 18 plus women's Choctaw. Then we're going right into our senior adult categories, starting with our men's traditional then Southern Cloth, and on down the line. All right, we're ready to go. Young Tribe, if you would, contest song for our Golden Age Fancy Shawl.
Round of applause over to the north side. Stand by, Fort Peck Sioux will be singing for men's chicken. Again, we got another update out of Stillwater. OSU 7, OU 7. It's still early yet, brother, it's still early. All right, we're calling upon men's chicken, golden age chicken. Stand by, women's Choctaw, 18 plus. When we come back to women's Choctaw, we'll be going over to Full Metal Jacket, stand by for Women's Choctaw. All right, we got three on the dance floor. All right, we're ready to go. Fort Peck Sioux, if you want Men's Chicken. Stand by, Women's Choctaw, 18 plus. our senior golden age men's chicken over here on the south side we're calling upon to the dance floor our women's choctaw 18 plus 18 and over women's choctaw stand by full metal jacket when we get into our senior adult men and women 36 to 54 we'll be starting off with our men's northern traditional we'll go over to southern cloth southern straight southern buckskin uh, men's grass northern traditional women uh, men's fancy jingle, we'll go with chicken and then finish up with fancy shawl as we added another category in there, so be standing by. All right, we should have 13, 13 Choctaw dancers, 18 plus. We got full metal jackets standing by. When we get to Northern Traditional, I do believe we'll be kicking it on over to Rock and Bear, I believe. All right, we're ready to go. Full Metal Jacket, if you would, contest. 18 plus Women's Choctaw.
Line them up all way over here. Follow Walter on this side over here. As they're lined up, we're going to call out our men's 36 to 54 traditional. Come on out. We should be 10 of you out there. Come on out. Singing for you. We're going to go to Rockin' Bear. Uh, once again, dancers, you're all going to get one song. Once I start the countdown, that means you're on the floor. The singers will start. Rockin' Bear, you'll have the first song. Stand by, Southern Cloth, Women's Southern Cloth, and then we're going to go to Southern Boys for that category, all right? So stay with us. Are we ready to go, Anthony? We're going to turn up the juice, cut them loose. There we go. We got the high side. Here we go, Rockin' Bear. this side over here come and line up way on this side we're gonna call out our southern cloth come on out singing for you we're gonna southern boys in five four three two one southern boys Blazing Bear, stand by. Oh, <laughs> 
Lined them up way on this side. All right, we're going to call out our next category. Come on out. We're going to call out the Southern Straight. We're going to Blazing Bear in five, four, three, two, one. Contest. On this side on the southern part of the drum don't put numbers down until they're all in line thank you judges we're gonna call out a southern buckskin come on out southern buckskin rainmaker in five four three two one contest Grass dancers, stand by. Indian Hill, stand by.
All right, line them up, pay them off, and a round of applause. Thank you for being at our powwow. We're going to go to the grass, men's grass, senior men's grass, that is, and we're going to Indian Hill in five, four, three, two, one. Indian Hill! Women Northern Traditional, stand by. Come and line up over here. Once again, don't put numbers down until they're all in line. We're going to call out our next category, Northern Women's Northern Traditional. We're going to go to Ho-Chunk Station in five, four. Oh, we need a judge. Oh, she's the judge. All right, take your time. Story time. Storytelling time. You know, on the way coming down here, we were all loaded up in this beautiful van of ours I got from Hertz Rental. Anyway, my wife, she said, um, honey, can you take me out to a restaurant where they make the food in front of you? I said, okay. So she dresses all up, puts these beautiful eyelashes on and this beautiful dress I bought her 10 years ago. She finally puts it on. We're going out. I took her to Subway. That's where the fight started. Hey. <laughs> Now, now I come to this power all alone, looking for an auntie. <laughs> I better not say it. We're on the World Wide Web and she might be watching me. Anyway, honey, I'll be home shortly. <laughs> hey, Kelly, I got some drinks for you too. Come and see me, all right? All right, pay them off with a round of applause. And I do believe our judge is going to line up right now. And we're going to go to Ho-Chunk Station in five, four, three, two. One whole junk station.
Fancy, stand by. Put your fry bread, eat your hands together, pay them off, and a round of applause coming line up way on this side over here. We're going to call out our men's fancy. We're going all southern for all men category. We're going to flip the card for northern to sink for this one and uh, the next category, next go around. In the meantime, we're going to go to leading arrow. Leading arrow in five, four, three, two, one. Contest. Jingle, dress, stand by. Showtime. Showtime, stand by. Smokes is sounding mad. We gave you five inner tribals for that. All right, we're going to go over to the next category. Come on out. Jingle dress dancers, come on in here. We're going to go to showtime. Jingle dress dancers, showtime in five, four, three, two, one. Showtime. Chicken dancers, stand by. The boys, stand by.
line up on the far side way over here by Walter. We're going to call out our prairie chicken dancers. Come on out. The boys, you'll have the song for our chicken dancers in five, four, three, two, one. Contest! Fancy Shaw, stand by. We'll call out the Shaw Senior Fancy Shaw. Come on out. And uh, is our judge, uh, one of our judges, going to be dancing in that Senior Fancy Shawl? Is that? Uh, are you going to be dancing in that shawl contest? Is she in there? Is she in there? No. Okay. I'm going to call them out, and we're going to go to Young Tribe. Is she going to? Is she? Uh, she's good. All right. Young Tribe in five, four, three, two, one, contest! <laughs> Junior Adult Men's Traditional, stand by.
All right, round of applause over there on the north side. Come see Walter on the north side. All right, we'll be going now into our junior adult men and women, 18 to 35. Men's Northern Traditional, we're calling you to the dance floor. Singing for you will be coming to Fort Peck Sioux. Back at the top on the northern side. When we get to the women's southern cloth, we have 24 contestants. We will be going into two groups. When we get 20 or more, we'll be going into two groups. Also, just a quick update out of Stillwater again. We have OU7, Oklahoma State, 14. All right, I do believe we have our men's northern traditional on the dance floor. We have 17 contestants. Stand by, Fort Peck Sioux. I believe we are about ready to go. All right, ready to go in five, four, three, two, one, Fort Peck Sioux. South side, south side of the arena. We're calling in our junior adult women, Southern Claw. Singing for you, we'll be going to Iron Bow. And I believe we'll have two groups, so stand by Rose Hill. I believe we have 24 contestants, so Mike will get them all out there and we'll get them numbered off pretty quick. And we'll go to group one, group two. Mike, are we gonna use the same judges on this? Same judges, all right, so we'll allow a little bit of time here. After Southern Cloth, we'll be coming to our Southern Strait. And singing for Southern Straight will be coming over to Full Metal Jacket. We should have 24 contestants, 24. We've only got 20. We still were going to go to two groups if we had 20 or more. It's totally up to you, your call. One or two groups. Mm -hmm. 
We're going to go one group. All right, one group, one song. We're going to go to Ironbow. So when we come to our southern straight, we'll be going over to Rose Hill. All right, we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Ironbow contest. with a round of applause as we're going to line you up right in the middle. We have a big group, a number of uh, Southern Claw dancers. So we'll line you up right here in the middle. Again, don't be writing any numbers down until all of our contestants are in line. Stand by, men, Southern Straight, 18 to 35. As we'll be coming on over to Rose Hill, stand by. When we get to our uh, Southern Buckskin, you'll be following our Southern Straight. We'll be coming to Full Metal Jacket. Southern Buckskin. All right, judges, we're asking you to come on out for our men's Southern straight. We'll wait until I get the high sign. Wait until we clear the arena. 
I also want to give a quick shout out to Mr. John Rudy. He brought some drumsticks up here, some hand drumsticks. Come over and see Mike Gabbard with Palace.com. He's selling them for $25 a stick. Some good hand drum sticks. I believe he also has some regular league powwow sticks. And also he's an accomplished and talented uh, hand drum maker and big drum maker. So, so come see uh, John Rudy. All right, we got Rose Hill standing by. And we get to the men's grass, we'll be going to Rock and Bear. Women's Northern Traditional will go to Indian Hill. When our men's fancy, I believe, will be coming over to Southern Boys. So get your songs in line. All right, we're letting our dancers clear the dance floor. I believe we're ready to go. Rose Hill, if you would, contest. Junior adult, men, Southern straight. Southern Buckskin, stand by, full metal jacket. All right, we're going to go in five, four, three, two, one. Contest, full metal jacket. Stand by, men's grass.
side. Pay them off with a round of applause over to the north side. North side. We're calling in our men's junior adult grass dancers. We have, I believe, 27 registered. We're going to see if we have enough for two groups. We want to go two groups, but if we don't have enough out there at this time, we'll go to one group. So singing for you on men's grass, Rockin' Bear, stand by. If we need a second song for second group, well, come on over to Indian Hill. So we're standing by. How's it looking, Michael? We're still waiting. While we're waiting, give us an update on your scoreboard, Darren. All right, we've got uh, OU 14, Oklahoma State 17. Yeah, lots of moaners in the crowd. Yeah. All right, Michael, how's it looking? It looks like a two grouper. One group. All right, we're going to go with two groups. They're going to number you off. One, stay out there. Twos, have a seat. We'll be coming to Rock and Bear in Indian Hill. We'll have group number two. Stand by Women's Northern Traditional. All right, we're ready to go in five, four, three, two, one. Rock and Bear contest. right there in the middle right up there in the middle we'll be calling group number two to the dance floor we'll be using the same judges so we'll give you guys a little bit of time here singing for group number two we'll be coming to Indian Hill stand by again want to give a shout out to powwows.com and Lone TP working side by side here this weekend to bring it to the World Wide Web Watching from all over the globe. We've got people tuning in, putting Durant, Oklahoma on the map right here. You know, Marty, there's a person uh, watching back home in White Shield, North Dakota. Her name is Ricky Lynn. Welcome to our power, Ricky. All right, as we'll be getting ready to go to group number two, stand by Indian Hill. Women's Northern Traditional singing for you. You'll be right after this singing for you. You'll be Ho-Chunk Stations will be standing by. 
Don't forget about the Pow Wow Auction tomorrow, right after Gord Dance. We have one hour of fast and furious selling. So if you have something to sell, bring it up here. If you want to get a good bargain and buy something, bring your cash. All right, the balloting is done. So we're asking our judges to be making their way back out to the arena. We're going to go in five, four, three, two, one, and then hell, come <laughs> Go down to the south side, gentlemen, as we are calling to the dance floor our Women's Northern Traditional, singing for you, Ho-Chunk Station. I believe we have uh, 16 in that category, so we'll go with one group. In five, four, three, two, one, Ho-Chunk Station. Stand by, men's fancy feather.
round of applause over to the north side. North side. All right, we're calling out our men's fancy feather. We have 21 contestants in this category, so we'll probably have to split you up into two groups. But we're asking you to hurry, hurry to the dance floor. If we don't have everybody here, we will start without you. We'll go to one group. Stand by, Southern boys. If we need a second song, we come into Blazing Bear. All right, Anthony, we've got 21 registered. We'll leave it up to you if you want to go one or two groups. All right, we're going to go two groups. All right, we're going to number you off. If you ain't out here, you might miss out as we are going to number them off. All right, we're going to number you off. One, stay on the floor. Twos, have a seat. Song number one will be going to Southern Boys. Group number two will be getting Blazing Bear. We'll be using the same judges, and after the contest song, we'll have you gentlemen line up in the center arena. All right, I'm looking to you guys there. All right, we're ready to go. Southern Boys contest, group number one. Gentlemen, line up center arena. We'll be calling out group number two. We will be using the same judges, the same judges. Also, Michael wanted me to give an invitation again to you fancy dancers, be showing what you got as we'll be bringing back in 2024 the Choctaw Challenge over at Pacola at the Choctaw Casino in Pacola, Oklahoma. He is scouting out dancers right now as again he'll be sending invitations to come on down and showcase your style. Stand by Blazing Bear for song number two. Following our men's fancy, we'll be going to our women's jingle. Stand by Showtime, and I'm pretty sure we're going to have two groups, so stand by the boys. Again, we'll be using the same judges here for our group number two of men's fancy. We're not too far away. I believe we're about five or six songs, and we'll be going right into our teen boys and teen girls. Also, just a reminder to all of our chicken dancers, we'll be going to the first go-round of the Dennis Navacoya Memorial later this afternoon before supper break. And also, we'll be going around one final time with a 50-50. Larray is making his way around one final time on the 50-50, and that will go to an additional to the prize money that's already set aside just for the chicken dance special. All right, we're going to go in five, four, three... Two, Blazing Bear, one.
there in the middle. Again, we want to give a shout out to all of our exhibitioning dancers, our young men. You know, we say thank you for joining us on the side of the arena. All right, we're calling our junior adult women's jingle to the dance floor. We do have 25 registered, so I'm pretty sure we'll go into two groups. So we'll be standing by Showtime and the boys. You know, Marty, I didn't even dance. I was just watching. I got a wedgie. Oh, man, that's cool. Got a wedgie before they even danced, I bet, too. Uh. <laughs> oh, we, uh. <laughs> All right, be standing by. Michael will be looking to you. We do have, again, 27 registered. Or 25, 25 registered in our women's jingle. We'll be going to two groups. Group number one will be going to showtime. Group number two, the boys. So again, old Indian trick. If there's somebody you don't want to dance to next to in the same category, stand right next to them. Last and final call, women's jingle to the dance floor. If everybody's not here and we have about 20, we're going to go with one group. Stand by, men, junior adult, men's chicken. All right, we're going to go to two groups, two groups. Number one, stay out there. Twos, have a step back. Showtime is standing by, and the boys, they are on deck. All right, I believe we're ready to go. Are we ready to go? All right, we're ready to go. Showtime contest.
to the north side, right in the middle. Where are we going? Right in the middle. All right, group number two. We're making our way onto the dance floor. Again, we'll be using the same judges. Same judges, same drum. You know, Marty, back home in Canada, there's a lot of people watching us on the World Wide Web. And I'd like to thank each and every one of these people for hooking us up. We have some people in George Gordon First Station watching us on the World Wide Web. And I'll tell you what, they're cowboys and they're cowgirls. And I'd like to give a quick shout out to Mesa, Bitternose, and family for watching. And turn this in. And you're cheering on the girls jingle. And uh, a couple years time, you'll see her on the dance floor, I do believe. And welcome, Mesa and family at George Gordon First Station to our powwow. Marty, you're good to go. All right, group number two is on the dance floor. We'll be using the same judges. We'll be coming over to the boys. Also, we had a wee man just come up here. He is uh, Chief Littlefoot. He is a member of the Micro Wrestling Federation. He has his own personal T-shirts. He's selling them. He's walking around over here. So, again, if you are a fan of uh, micro wrestling, come get you a shirt. I don't think I'll fit it. Man. Same judges. All right, we're ready to go. The Boys Contest. Stand by. off of the round of applause. All right, where are we going? Line up right here in the middle. All right, thank you, women's jingle. Stand by, junior adult men's chicken. We're coming to Young Tribe. Fancy Shaw will be coming back over to the top to Fort Peck Sioux. Again, just want to give a reminder to, again, all of our uh, women's fancy feather will be going to your contest, uh, that special contest, after grand entry. We'll make an announcement on how we were going to allow everybody to come in for grand entry. I know we'll be trying to switch outfits and make arrangements to uh, come in dancing, however. So we'll make that announcement to make sure everybody gets uh, their points. Also, our chicken dancers stick around after our junior categories. We'll be going right into the Dennis Navacoya first go-round memorial special. Want to give a shout-out to my good brother, Jamel Payne, is in the house. He sent me a text message. He said, I see you working. Good to see you, and good to hear from you, Jamel. All right, we're standing by Young Tribe, Men's Chicken. All right, we're going to go in five, four, three, Young Tribe, two, one.
can hear you now down to the south side, down here by the Southern Drums. All right, we're calling to the dance floor, Junior Adult Women's Fancy Shawl, singing for you, Fort Peck Sioux. We're on the time limit. We're trying to get everybody done by 5.30, so we got just over an hour. Juniors and teens, I hope you've been paying attention as we're going to go right through. Halftime score, 17 to 14. We're ready to go, Fort Peck Sioux. OSU. side where our arena director is. All right, let's call out our next category. Come on out. We're now in our junior, I mean uh, teen category. Teen boys traditional, come on out, stand by, Southern Cloth. Teen boys traditional, I do believe. We're going to go to uh, Northern Drum. Where are we at? Northern, Northern, Northern. That's Rockin' Bear. Rockin' Bear, are you in the house? We're going to rock it out at this rockin' good powwow. Five. Four, three, two, one, contest! Stand by. Ah, 
Ah, just like that. Put yourself in a pay window. Come and line up. All right, we're calling out a Southern Cloth Rainmaker. You're on the horn. Here we go. Rainmaker. Boys straight, stand by. Leading arrow, stand by. And line up way on this side. Let's pay them off with a round of applause. Put your brown hands together and give them a big round of applause. We're going to call out our next category will be our Southern Straight. Come on in. Singing for you, Leading Arrow, Hoka. Leading Arrow.
Buckskin, stand by. On this side right here, and uh, we're going to go to Indian Hill for our next category, and that would be our buckskin, women's buckskin. Come on in. And a uh, quick shout out to Harlan's Tilde out of Panema. Thank you for watching us. All right, we're going to go to Indian Hill. Ho-Chunk Station, stand by. Line them up. Well, I'll tell you what. They bought their A game to the powwow. Line them up way over there. Grass dancers on the floor. Ho Chunk Station. Ho Chunk Station!
line them up way over here. We're going to go with our next uh, category. Come on out, and that would be Jingle. Come on out, Jingle Dress Dancers. Come on out, singing for you. We'll go to Showtime, I do believe. Showtime. Showtime. Hooka, you're on there. Showtime. Fancy stand by. Full metal jacket stand by. this side right there we're call out the fancy teen boys fancy come on out we're gonna go to iron boy iron boy i do believe you're on is it iron bow oh iron bow i spelt it wrong my apologies i'll need tobacco for that name change <laughs> all right here we go contest Boys, stand by for Fancy Shawl.
Oh, the smoke's knocked them all down. Come and line up over there. And we're going to go out, call out our fancy shawl. Come on out. Singing for you. We'll go to the boys. Let's give Eileen a big shout out. She's watching us over in England, way across the big waters. And Reuben Crowfeather out in California. Welcome to our power, Reuben. Good to have you watching us. All right, here we go. The boys. Chicken dancers stand by. song for our championship <laughs> contest category. Thank you very much, the boys. We're going to call out our next category. Please come on out into the floor. And that would be our chicken dancers. Now the chicken dancers, there's only three in this category. Guess what? This is your lucky day. We're going to give you two push-ups. We're going to go now to Young Tribe for two push-ups. Young Tribe, two starts. Choctaw, stand by. Rose Hill, stand by. Gentlemen, put your brown hands together. Let's give them a big round of applause. Let's call out our Choctaw category. Choctaw women, teen girls, Choctaw. Singing for you, we're going to Rose Hill. In uh, Choctaw, we have uh, seven in that category, so we're looking for four starts. I do believe they're on the floor. Here we go, Rose Hill. Immediately following our Choctaw teen girls, we'll be going right into teen or junior boys, 7 to 12. We'll be starting off with traditional, then cloths. We'll be standing by. Rose Hill, if you would, contest. Two 
starts. Rose Hill, two starts. side over there with Michael all right we'll be going right on into our junior boys and junior girls ages 7 to 12 our first category we'll be calling on our junior boys traditional I do believe we only have two in this category so I'll be going to two push-ups Fort Peck Sioux will be coming to you all right our judges are on the floor I think we're ready to go in five four three two one Fort Peck Sioux two push-ups junior boys traditional Junior girls class, stand by. Over to the south side. Over to the south side. We do have a junior boys straight category. So just a heads up. Claude Friday. Claude Friday. We are needing you to meet up with Michael. All right. We're calling to the dance floor. Junior girls Claude. Junior girls Claude. We have 11 contestants. So we'll be going to a full song. Singing for you. Be full metal jacket. Stand by. When we come to our junior boys straight, we'll be going to Southern Boys. I believe we have just a couple in that category, so we'll be going to two push-ups. We're ready to go. Full Metal Jacket Contest.
round of applause over there to the north side, over there with Uncle Walter. We're calling out Junior Boys Straight. Junior Boys Straight, we have three contestants, so I believe we'll be going, I believe we have four contestants, four contestants, so we'll be going to two push-ups also. Southern Boys, stand by. All right, looks like we've got all of our Junior Boys Straight on the dance floor. Southern Boys, if you would, contest. Stand by, Junior Girls Buckskin, Blazing Bear. these junior boys straight dancers all right over to the south side we're calling on to the dance floor junior girls buckskin blazing bear stand by junior boys grass rockin bear will be coming to you junior girls jingle indian hill boys fancy rainmaker and then on down the line all right junior girls buckskin we do have three contestants will be going to two push-ups kelly all right we're ready to go blazing bear contest Two push-ups, two push-ups. with a round of applause right there. All right, come on down to the north side. Come see Walter. And we're calling to the dance floor, Junior Boys Grass, Rockin' Bear, stand by. We do have nine contestants in this category. Stand by, Junior Girls Jingle. All right, we're gonna go in three, two, one. Rockin' Bear contest, Junior Boys Grass.
round of applause for our junior boys grass dancers over here to the south side. Over here, we're calling to the dance floor, junior girls jingle, Endin Hills, stand by. We have 12 contestants, so we'll go to a full song. Stand by, junior boys fancy rainmaker. All right, we're looking for these dancers, number 725 and 1049, over to the tabulation table. Dancers number 725, 1049, over to the tabulation table. All right, we're ready to go, Indian Hill. Contest, Junior Girl Jingle. applause for our junior girls jingle over there to the north side go see uncle walter all right rainmaker stand by boys fancy on to the dance floor we have 10 contestants stand by ho chunk station you'll be singing for girls fancy shawl all right we have 10 1 2 3 4 5 6 7 8 9 i think we're about ready to go in three two one rainmaker contest
Good show, gentlemen, over here to the south side. Over here, I see Uncle Walter. All right, we're calling on girls' fancy shawl. Junior girls' fancy shawl, make your way onto the dance floor. We have 12 contestants in this category. So we'll be coming to a full song. That'll be coming to you by Ho-Chunk Station. Stand by. Also, boys' chicken, stand by. Showtime and girls' chalk will be finishing up with leading arrows. So stand by, gentlemen. All right, we're ready to go. Ho-Chunk Station contest. <laughs> Right there, Junior Girls Fancy Shaw. Good show. Over there, go see Uncle Walter. All right, we're calling to the dance floor. Our boys chicken dancers. Junior boys chicken. I do believe we only have one contestant in this one, this category. One contestant. So we're going to two push-ups from showtime. I don't see our chicken dancer yet. Second and third call for our Junior Boys Chicken. We did have one sign up. I don't see him yet. All right, Mike, what do you want to do? And also, men's chicken dancers, be standing by. We're asking the Navacoya family to start making your way up here. Check in with Michael. All right, what do you want to do, Mike? Last and final call, Junior Boys Chicken, ages 7 to 12 years of age. We still got Junior Girls Choctaw, last category. All right, we're going to call our Junior Girls Choctaw to the dance floor. Showtime will be having to come back to you. At the meantime, for singing for Junior Girls Choctaw, leading arrow, stand by. All right, Junior Girls Choctaw coming to the dance floor, 7 to 12 years of age. I see a few making their way to the arena. Mike, we ready to go? All right. Contest, leading arrow, Junior Girls Choctaw.
A round of applause for our final category, our junior girls chalk tall dress, line up right here in the middle of the arena. Again, ladies and gentlemen, we went through 51 categories this afternoon. We did have 52, but we didn't have our junior boys chicken, so we'll have to come back to that hopefully this evening. The word is from our head arena director, Mr. Michael Roberts, we are going to run everybody again this evening, a full go round this evening, but also we do have that Women's Fancy Feather that we'll be coming to right after Grand Entry. Also, we'll be right after Grand Entry. We'll also go to the Cradle Board. One song. So be getting that on your mind. I'll be trying to give out more information as soon as I hear it. And so at this time, we want to say thank you to all of our judges that stuck it out this weekend, this evening, this afternoon. Helped us out. I believe he's uh, giving some instructions to some of our judges. Also, we do have... Um, uh, I believe the district will be handing out some uh, coupons for some of the youth for later on this evening. They can head over to the uh, arcade area, the bowling alley area. So I want to give them a shout out to be on standby. Again, we're calling the Navacoya family up here and all chicken dancers, our adult chicken dancers, will be standing by. Well, the first go round for the Dennis Navacoya Memorial. I believe uh, Edmund, I believe, is going to be speaking on behalf of the family. So we're looking for Edmund Navacoya to come on up here. Again, one more time this evening. I'm not sure if uh, the drums have been selected for this special, but I believe all the others will be excused. And we're having drum roll call at 645. Grand entry at 7 o'clock sharp. So at this time, we're going to turn it on over to Mr. Edmund Navacoya. Anyway, we're going to ask our veterans to stand by. We're going to dance out our colors right after this. And uh, get a cordless mic there, Michael. There he comes. All right. Mike was overruled by these two visiting arena directors. I kind of like it. Juniors and teens, you are excused until tomorrow afternoon grand entry. So you don't have to come in for grand entry, but we will be contesting our golden age and senior golden age. So juniors and teens, you don't have to dance tonight. You are excused until tomorrow. Uh, juniors and teens, you can go walk around the building like we used to a long time ago. Meet behind the announcer stand. Eh? Pick your food coupon.